What's up, guys? Tech Peasants Podcast relaunch episode one. Yay! Why are we relaunching it though? So we're relaunching it because the name Tech Peasants implies we talk about more than just video games. Makes sense. And I'd rather talk yes. about more than just video games. Same here. So let's go ahead and relaunch this thing and talk about tech in general. We can also talk about video Which games. Which will still include video yeah. games. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, okay. But it will be technology as a whole. Okay, if you say so. Understandable. <laughs> so, luckily for the relaunch, we have everyone here. Yes. No. <laughs> Jonathan's here. Hey, Bob, yeah. You know, you clip the audio. Good. Good. Fun party. He just uh, got scissors and clipped the audio. Cut it in half. <laughs> Shit. Welcome to the new nice. tech. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking Job about today, Savante? Well, first off, we're going to talk about NVIDIA's Volta architecture. They just released their new Titan, <laughs> Titan V mm-hmm. for $3,000. And that's expensive as hell, but it's 110 teraflops. Yep. 12 gigs of the mm-hmm. high bandwidth memory, and it only uses 250 watts. This mm-hmm. thing is extremely powerful. Yeah. It's ridiculous. If you don't know technology like we do, because we're tech peasants, Bitch, you, you might don't be a know little technology. lost. Oh, no <laughs> shit. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> you don't know shit about shit, Daniel. <laughs> I know you're lying. I don't know I shit. I know you. I don't know shit. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But <laughs> this this thing is extremely powerful. It's powerful. So extremely I'll expensive, it. but it's Wait. affordable for what it is. I'm going to scale I mean, it. Is it worth the price? I mean, not really for gaming, because the, the main purpose of this thing is for, like, AI learning and shit. Oh, no. Yeah, Delete it's, it. it's oh, more yeah. closer Delete to a workstation yes, for GP, workstation. like a oh. Quadro or something. That being said, I mean, Linus was playing GTA Five at 4K maxed out and getting, like, 90 frames. Yeah. Yeah, Just you, you can still yeah, game with it. Yeah, to be fair, though, like, we're... What are 1,028 frames at? All the graphics cards at this point. The mm-hmm. best CPU available right now is still holding back the GPU. So in t- NVIDIA and AMD didn't step their game up. Mm-hmm. I'll pretend I know what that means. Yeah. But uh, so for comparison, <laughs> the strongest card still isn't this one. It's actually from um, NVIDIA's Tesla series of cards. Of it's the V100. But it's only two teraflops stronger. And it costs $10,000. Mm-hmm. So for comparison's sake, this thing is $7,000 cheaper. Only two yeah, teraflops. Two teraflops, two teraflops less. Cheaper. Gotcha. So, so like, I give it like five years, a hundred so block card might be like consumer grade available. For what it is, it's pretty affordable uh, compared to the other option. It is a Tesla, so it's going to be more expensive. It's like the Apple. Wrong company. <laughs> so, yeah, so. Wrong, wrong, wrong Elon Musk. There's more than one. multiple. Yeah. He's a wizard man. <laughs> he, he has clones of him everywhere. <laughs> knew it. AI. He doesn't work with other people. He just works with other himself. <laughs> Clone himself. That's what Neuralink is. He wants to make himself more bodies. Everything in the universe is either Elon Musk or isn't. <laughs> There's two types of people on this earth. There's only two types of people. Elon Musk and everyone else. Well, I mean, if we have that image yesterday on the display, oh, anything yeah. to go by. Oh, uh, God. We have to put yeah. the video now. Too. Yeah. Oh, no. Context? You're going to have to do some editing, you poor soul. Context? <laughs> Okay. Oh, you weren't there. No, they shared. Uh, you'll see it. I'll yeah. Show you that. I'll show you later. Well, I guess I have to wait it's, for the context. Yeah, live in the it's dark. A, it's a deviant art image. Oh, crappy. that's all I need to hear. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a digital painting of Elon Musk, and it looks like a potato. It looks like if. I was talking about the other one. But that's it too. looks like if someone threw acid on his face and he got reconstructive surgery, <laughs> and then now he looks like a. Like, um, not even a human, <laughs> but a human at the same time. Just yeah. imagine... If he was some by a bee when he was, like, in the womb still. <laughs> yeah. Like Just imagine Morty from Rick and Morty. And then, like, have him super realistic. Hyper realistic. Hyper realistic. <laughs> but also take back the humanity. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what you have. the first topic. God, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mix Elon Musk and a Jeep pie. Yeah, we got to Elon Musk later. Damn. We're starting off strong. What next? NVIDIA Volta of Titan V. <laughs> okay. <laughs> next thing, uh, Magic Leap. If you remember that company, a long time ago, they had Magic some device. Leap. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Enlighten me. A long time ago, they had this device that was like a wireless trackpad for your hand. Like, you put a sensor down on the table, 
put your hand like this, and you could use it as a mouse by moving your hand up and down. Oh, I think oh, I've seen okay. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, know it was called, I think it was just called Magic Leap, along with the company. Hmm. They've just announced that they have some augmented reality glasses they're working on. And these actually look wearable. Like, HoloLens itself looked pretty decent. Yeah, this but it was kind of bulky. smaller because they finally used their brain and made a separate processing pack <laughs> that can just go in their pocket or something. There you go. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's all that's you need idea. for it. So hopefully with that, they can have a high enough resolution with yeah. wide enough field of view. They, weren't, they didn't really give any specs. They said they'll be able to get some um, in next year for like the developers. but Probably because it's like... Specs a completely different architecture for a CPU that's like extremely unique because if it's going to be like processing augmented reality then it's got to be completely different from a conventional CPU yeah, yeah the HoloLens they had to make I have no idea what the fuck is called yeah. processing yeah exactly what what will it be able to do um the typical stuff you see from AR like you put it on now you can have like the temperature on that wall Maybe watch some sports. On It'll be like wall. an Iron Man. Can I play Minecraft? Oh, okay, yeah. that's. Cool. Oh, it's like multiple visors then. They did say yeah. it will also be cool for gaming because like, um, Hollins has this. Cool that's all I need to hear. Um, it's like you look at the wall. It's like that one kid start from Netsy Classified. And have yeah, like it. Yeah. Like it. Really? Like another world, and go like you can shoot it with like your huh. finger and stuff. And that's that's cool. Hollins. Yeah. And that was like years ago, so they make stuff now. It's gonna be even cooler. This is like that one kid from Netsy Classified. Oh, Cookie. <laughs> yeah, Cookie. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot his name was Cookie. Yeah. What the fuck? I, I only remember him because of the, the episode where he wore, like, a lot of jackets and he couldn't take them <laughs> oh, off. Oh, yeah. And so he was, like, had to sweating. use a chainsaw to <laughs> cut him off uh, of it. All right. That was unrelated. <laughs> no, it's, it has, it's, See, that, he has it's the glasses. Technology. Yeah, yeah, he had the prototype. <laughs> exactly. He was the one who created it. He's he was Elon Musk. He's now Cookie he Musk. <laughs> He's a child. <laughs> Cookie black. Now you're sitting next to you, John. To go on. <laughs> All right. Next topic will be pretty quick. Uh, Cuphead has sold two million copies, over half of which mm -hmm. were on PC. It's gone double platinum. Good so God. Xbox for barely supporting the game. Yeah, Jesus. No, Wait, Xbox. Well, no, Xbox. Thank you, Xbox fans. No, thank you. No, yeah. Thank you for Xbox fans. When they didn't buy the game. No, because they hate his copies were Xbox. Stupid. Xbox gamers hate. Anything that's, that's not, not sure, a first-person right. shooter. Right. <laughs> the game sold like two million or on PC, so it hasn't even sold a million. On and to yet. prove that, what was that one game? Uh, it was like Lucky Tail or uh, something. Lucky Lucky's Tale. Tale. Super Lucky's Tail. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. I'm a, I, I can understand why they didn't buy that one. It's very mediocre and it's oh, very okay. cutesy. Yeah. I mean, a poor the thing with Super Lucky's Tail, it, it's found itself in an unfortunate place because. I, when it released, Super Mario Odyssey had just come out, yep. and then A Hat in Time was soon to follow. Oh. And those games are infinitely better at what yeah. they were do at what the platform. What they were do. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. and then Bubsy, <laughs> a Bubsy Trump song. Sonic, yes. Forces. Sonic yeah. Forces, the Goat, <laughs> Goat, <laughs> the Goat. The Sonic is a Goat. The goat, greatest of all time. It's a, oh, wow. it's a so it's fleshy natural. mammal that has fur. Yeah, yeah it has a goatee and uh, <laughs> Thanks, it, it spits on you for no reason. It eats everything. No, you're llama. thinking of a llama. Same difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's got fur, it's fine. It's got fur. That's, that's, fine. that's why it has this four is, legs, it's fine. That's why this isn't animal peasants. <laughs> this is why we don't talk about animals. We eat all right, them. next topic. Peasants podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that, Change the name. That's what the new launch is going to be named. Uh, left peasants. So How about now? Of, speaking of gaming stuff, PUBG just released from early access. It's in the 1.0 launch now. Mm -hmm. Nice. Not much has changed. I mean, I'm pretty sure it runs a little better. There was a patch a while back that helped it run a little better. Mm -hmm. But uh, so on PC, people are happy. They're celebrating. There's a few bugs with a work around to it. On Xbox, the game is running like complete shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's suffering from frame rate drops, rubber banding, look back, look not looking good. And just all this little problem. Looks well, like a PS2 game online. Not looking good. I love how specific that it is. It's just not looking good. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, And for some reason, they decided to release it on the Xbox One X running in native 4K. When that's not even possible on the Why? PC. You can run it at 4K, but you're not going to get a playable. Exactly. Why? Why worry about the frame rate? It's because. No, they, they, they worry, is, no more, 
Like they guarantee you 16 frames. Yeah, okay. Okay, that, that makes sense. Like the part where you they guaranteed at least 16 frames. In the beginning frames. of the level when it loads oh, up. Oh, thank God. In one spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like 20 frames there. So playable. Oh, God. Playing, it shows the whole map. Oh. It was 16 frames. Oh. And I don't even know what re- no. re- resolution it's running on the Xbox One and S. I don't know what it's on that, but I, I would assume 720p. 144. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the uh, the PC version is gonna have like a lot of you know extra mods and stuff that people yeah of course like hopefully it opens well, up in the workshop. I mean, usually if the uh, game comes out on PC, the developer still works on that primarily mm-hmm. and then sends that it out stuff. to the other versions. Because these console makers have stricter policies. For yeah, shit. yeah. Exactly. So you, you Xbox people, you're gonna be. You're gonna be like that for a while. Mm-hmm. Xbox fans are. Just, oh, man. <laughs> I'm, uh, they get whatever's you know what? coming I have to this them. 12 teraflop GPU, the Titan X. I can't run this at 4K 60. Let's put it on this 6 teraflop console and let it run at 4K. God. Is it gonna be exclusively on PC and Xbox, or is it gonna go to PS4? Being, I think it'll come to PS4 once it runs better. Can yeah. I get it on the Switch? <laughs> Stop being a Switch yeah. beggar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. You're better off just taking pictures of real life. Put it, yeah. <laughs> like hitting the next Put it in a Microsoft PowerPoint. <laughs> You're better just turning on and off the light switch in your room. <laughs> but if it if it can run Skyrim, why can't it run? <laughs> yeah, it can run, run PUBG Amiibo. <laughs> it can run Skyrim, but like a potato. <laughs> Five frames, them glorious. You there and you get like you run it four P. Yeah, I like, mean, ugh. all my guns have to be like smaller than the actual character. It looks worse than the NES game. God, <laughs> that'd be great. It's like the the pixelated filter on uncharted 4 oh, yeah oh, uh. <laughs> i forgot they did that yeah God. that's what they have to run skyrim on next topic. switch all right so yeah. wrong games you want to talk about breath of the wilds uh bike dlc oh yeah sure um i'm just going to talk about the entire season pass in general uh with breath of the wild you can pay 20 dollars for a season pass <laughs> and when you first buy the season pass it gives you three treasure chests that are so inconsequential no one gives a fuck the first season pass major chunk was The Trial of the Sword, which a major point of contention with the game was that a ton of... All of the weapons have a durability and they are super fragile. What the, what the Trial of the Sword does is you can go and you can prove yourself for the umpteenth time in that game in order to double the strength of the Master Sword and make it so that it never breaks. That's pretty cool. Um, the Master Sword can break? Yeah. Well, it doesn't break. It runs out of energy, yeah. and it has to recharge for ten. Durability. Because every other weapon has a durability, yeah, yeah. but I they like, wanted it to be like a balanced weapon. I feel like the master sword should have been like the OP, like a oh, limited God. swing. Yeah. yeah. Like you I'm were. Gone. I mean, you saved this fucking yeah. world. The Why thing not? with that though is that then, whenever you, what. The thing is, if the Master Sword was an overpowered weapon that never broke, no one would use any other weapon. They That's would the point. just use the Master Sword. And that would undermine the weapon system entirely. Well, like... True. You, you, I just feel like it's well, a good reward wrong. to get... <laughs> After working your way with breaking weapons. Well, yeah, that's what the Trial of the Sword is for, so that you can have that final reward of, wow, I finally have a weapon that won't fucking break on me. I just have to pay 20 extra dollars. That's true. That's really <laughs> And then the second chunk of DLC is the called the Ballad of the uh, Champions. Or the Champions Ballad, excuse me. Um... What that one does is... Why are you too fidgeting? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Don't, you Don't look worry about me. Keep going, Jacob. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay. One major problem that I have with the game is that when you collect, when you finally beat all of the, um, the uh, shrines, all 120 of them, and you get all of the heart containers and all the energy rings, you're left with three slots of empty heart containers that are not there. So there are three potential hearts that are there that are just not there. And it pisses me off because it's just, it looks incomplete because it is incomplete. Oh. The uh, Champion's Ballad adds four <laughs> more shrines to the game, which means one heart container, which means we still have the same problem except it's two slots left instead of the three. So, so gonna, it's still incomplete. So they're going to add two more. Tri- they're gonna add two yeah, more. yeah if, if you want full hearts, you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> Basically. Holy crap, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. It's really stupid. Uh, yeah, I don't like that aspect. <laughs> and so, apparently Link in Breath of the Wild can never prove himself because 
Shut up. <laughs> Stop mocking me. He's doing the same hand motions I'm doing. And Jacob's like asserting his hand to the ground. He's like chopping an invisible blow. I'm doing a candy carnation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, because Lincoln never proved himself. Because Shut up. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Lincoln never proved himself in this game because they say, oh, you've proven yourself as worthy as champion of Hyrule. Five minutes later, eh, you didn't prove yourself. Let's prove yourself again with the trial of the sword. And now you're worthy. Actually, no, you're not worthy. Oh, Let's man. do one last thing. Yeah. Okay, now you're worthy. Oh, wait, never mind. There's so another like checklist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because after you beat those uh, four shrines and you get that one heart container, you now have to do a bunch of different mini trials around the divine beasts. And refight the bosses in the Divine Beast, and then go through one final dungeon, one final boss fight, and your prize finally is a motorcycle. <laughs> it, oh yeah, I saw it, that. Link, Link gets his own Divine it is cool. Beast. I ain't gonna and lie to you. It is a motorcycle that looks like a horse, and the motorcycle is super freaking awesome. It is. It is. You can go anywhere with it. You can summon it whatever you want. You can climb up mountains with it. You can ride all over high roll. You Fuck can climbing. ride all over high roll in this super awesome motorcycle. And it's awesome. It's great. The only problem is two things. One, you can't get the motorcycle until the very end of the game. So you have to have beaten all four divine beasts. Then you have to do the entirety of the Champion's Ballad in order to get the motorcycle. By the time you have beaten the Four Divine Beasts, you're ready to attack Ganon. You're ready to roll up on Hyrule Castle and attack him. Pull up on him. So it's the end of the game <laughs> when you get the motorcycle. And what it would have been awesome about halfway through the game. Secondly... Wow. The motorcycle is unlimited and where you can go. You obviously can't drive it in lava, but one thing that really pisses me off that I fucking hate mm -hmm. is that you cannot take the motorcycle into Gerudo Desert. It is impossible. If you glitch it in there, it will despawn. You cannot summon it in the desert. Why? <laughs> Why is that a thing? I want to do mad doughies in the desert and I <laughs> fucking can't because of an arbitrary thing. I understand the whole sand seal mechanic of you're supposed to surf on your sh you're supposed to sand surf on your shield with the sand seals. That's the bread and butter of the Gerudo Desert. But I want to take the motorcycle into the desert, and you can't. <laughs> it angers me so much. I'm angry. Patch. Angry. Does the um. Or we'll be able to pay for that ability. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. In the next DLC, you'll be able to pay for that. Well, well they're done with yep. DLC, and that's what um, they say. Alnuma has stated they are officially working on the next Zelda game now. All right, guys. When we next... have grandchildren, we'll be able to play. It in the, the next game. Zelda game is going to be DLC for. Well, Breath of when the, the Switch <laughs> emulator comes out, you'll be able to uh, use the the bike in there. Um. Does it match with the rest of the aesthetic of the game? Like yeah. the motorcycle? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Keep it does on, look. Uh, keep on. Um, Jonathan, what's your name? <laughs> I'm Wolf. Jonathan, the major, <laughs> I'm the major enemy of Breath of the Wild are giant autonomous <laughs> robots. Okay. And it's, Nintendo. So it's like... So, <laughs> it, so it, it doesn't... It doesn't break the immersion at all. It it feels natural to be in there, even though it's an actual fucking motorcycle. Yeah. So it's like a mix of like nature and technology. It's yeah, it's, it's a magic it's motorcycle. Ancient technology. Well, so. I mean, they they teased it um, in Mario Kart Eight. Yeah, that's true. And yeah, um, what the, in Mario Kart Eight, it's called the Master Cycle. This is the Master Cycle One. So, uh, the predecessor. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. It's but a, it's really cool, and the motorcycle does run off of fuel. Um, the fuel is, like, every 10 minutes or so or con of continuous driving, the master cycle will run out of fuel. So you just have to insert materials into it. So you can just spend 10 Moblin teeth to recharge it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you basically like, <laughs> sorry, you need to take this. <laughs> like, you can put anything. Oh, this there. thing eats anything. You can put bananas, apples, teeth, so guts. Put the master so sword in there. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I don't eat this anymore. No, it has to be materials. It can't be. It is materials, though. Yeah, just so, break the mess. <laughs> but it's it's like a DeLorean. You can just put anything in it to fuel it up. Yeah, pretty much. Soda cans. Bodies. Dirty condoms, whatever. <laughs> 
bodies. <laughs> <laughs> dirt. You know, if it's yeah, a bodies. dead body, it could be considered a material. Exactly. Because like, at that point, you can then harvest the skin. You can use I mean, the we're flesh all made beans. out of materials. So, like. Exactly. So, why doesn't the master cycle eat itself? <laughs> science going too far. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. <laughs> Top 10 questions science can answer. <laughs> What's also really great about the DLC is that it gives you a shit ton of costumes to find and play around with. Um, unfortunately, the costumes are pretty freaking useless because everyone who has the DLC has pretty much beaten the game already. So all of these armor sets have like four defense when oh, yeah. your best armor has 28 defense oh. on each piece so each piece of the dlc armor has four defense and you can't upgrade it at the fairy fountains so oh, it, yeah. it'd be useful early game but no. a late game it's only useful for just like randomly cosplaying across hyrule it's useless in battle so please please tell yeah. me there's a costume i like i know in sonic lost world sonic can dress up as link uh-huh. Can Link dress up as Sonic? Well, no, unfortunately not, but you can dress up as Phantom Ganon, or you can have That's Zant not good dress. enough. That's not Sonic. That's not what he asked. <laughs> That's not good enough. We're I'll, going to just get the game on the Switch later. I'm going to go fast. Or Seamu. Or Seamu, yeah. <laughs> well, sorry. Where was that? Damn. 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 Not here. Yeah. Not here. Where's that fourth character? Where's that damn fourth character? <laughs> oh, I forgot the damn. And, uh, what, forgot the damn. One last, <laughs> and one last little point that I would like to make is there is a bit of a strength to the Master Cycle being so late game because once you get the Master Cycle, there's horses are obsolete. There's no point in getting a horse because you can just use the Master Cycle. So... At one point, getting it so late in the game um, helps not undermine the horse mechanic. But at the same time, it's so late in the game, it Doesn't destroys matter. itself. So, yeah, there's a bit of that to work with. I'm done talking about Breath of the Wild. Uh, the DLC is... Eh, it's okay. Wait for the Deluxe Edition or just emulate it. <laughs> Man, the game already got a game of the year. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's our next topic? All right, next topic. This may make a few of you uncomfortable watching and in, in this room. The Steam sale started. Oh, uh, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was at work. Sale. I was like, oh. I, I ain't got Twitter no for, fucking money. I was on Twitter. Was oh, yeah, because the, uh, yeah. I saw them oh, saying, oh, still recovered. It's 90% yeah. off during the um, Steam sale. Like, oh, shit, it started. So I clicked on Steam and... Yeah, I'm about to spend forty fucking dollars mm. probably. And then January fourth, so we got all this yeah. shit. All this shit that got games are ten dollars. <laughs> Portland Break is ten dollars right now. Pyre is ten dollars right now. There's a lot of good deals going on. Let me see Fuck what I'm about me. Bandit is ten dollars right I'm now. I'm double dipping with Shantae. I I'm, I need to. Bayonetta is worth not. ten dollars. Yeah, Bayonetta. Um, the first one. And, PC. Uh, Oh, wait, yeah. is worth ten dollars. Yeah. the only one you fucking play. play. I need to look up how <laughs> much um, Lego yeah, Marvel Super Heroes Two is. <laughs> get them ten frames. Because um, <laughs> if it's if it's a reasonable price, I'll get that. Nah, that'll probably be thirty. Well, yeah. Steam sale started. I actually bought a Steam Link. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try. Oh yeah. <laughs> On Dot, it's probably gonna be like ten. What does that do again? Oh god, yeah. Yeah, that's like a streaming device. You can stream your Steam games to any other display. Oh, device. that's right. Okay. Yeah. And over Ethernet, it's actually like almost no latency at all. Wow. Huh. Well, hold that's on. cool. Yeah. All right. That is pretty I, cool. I just spent thirty nine ninety six already. Yep. Dude, did you just did happened. you just <laughs> click on like buy yeah. now? Zavati, you literally just did this in the podcast. Yes. This you, is the first time for you. First time in all right, um, You're a fucking idiot. I just lied and bought some so, games. Uh, in the fine print uh, for the tech peasant's law, <laughs> it, it states that if Zavati buys a game mid podcast, he relinquishes all rights to the podcast to me. Yeah. Facts. I didn't write that shit. No, no, yeah. <laughs> you, you have to write it. You have to take you have to take an L. Yeah, yeah you have, hold the loaf. You have to I, hold I the L. I'm definitely holding the L for <laughs> So you just <laughs> bought it as you were talking. Yes. I yes. just hit um confirmed purchase. And let's not forget this is the same guy who did you did, you didn't hear this. But Savanti literally bought Minecraft just to see the chat that we were all giggling at. <laughs> that's the oh, only that's why? That's I didn't hear you say that. Reason. I didn't say it, but that's the main reason to buy it. Like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got it regardless. You, that, that was a good purchase. 
I don't know what. But yeah, like, okay. <laughs> no, but that was his only reason. Not to play the game, just to giggle at chat. Hey, it's a it's a, it's a fun thing to do, though. Yeah. It That's really the main is. reason I go on servers. <laughs> exactly. It's to fuck with people. to piss yeah. people yeah. off. It's so funny. I saw Kivon. I just saw them, too, before we started. That's why I bought Overwatch 2. At first, I bought it just because I wanted to play as Bastion and piss off the fan base. I'm saying now, nah. All right, Kevon, you have to get Minecraft. People, now. yeah, right. you have to get Minecraft. I will not become one of you. <laughs> yes, you will. I will what resist. What do you mean by that? I'm not gonna become one of, one of you. you. What do you mean by one I'm of Minecraft. you? I'm Minecraft. <laughs> I'm Minecraftist. <laughs> yeah. I'm racist against Minecraft. I am too. I'm, oh no, you're gonna I'm have gamist. To, you're gonna have to leave your console for two minutes so you can. Yeah, oh, <laughs> your see. shitty console. My fucking <laughs> fuck me for uh, liking PlayStation. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Then, then get a um, Minecraft on PS4. Hell yeah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> not the console version. Uh, hell nah. I forgot well, they even made that. Yeah, shit. use the touchpad on the back to yeah. play the game. Yeah. The Vita version, yeah. yeah for, <laughs> is there a Vita version? I yeah. believe there is. I oh, get well, the Vita. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you would. It's on my fucking microwave. It's on a mobile yeah. phone. Yeah. It's like Skyrim now. It's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, those are called Bedrock editions. Where's Minecraft Two at? You know, I'm asking Piss the off. same thing. <laughs> We're still in one All point X X yeah, update. I, I thought that after one point whatever it would go into two point and I was like, Oh my god, this is gonna be cool. No, like, oh god no. The size of the they, blocks. They aren't going to get into 2.0 until we're all dead. <laughs> Minecraft, they just go to Minecraft 5. Yeah. They skip, they skip 2 through uh, 4. 2 through uh, whatever that through, number uh, was. Uh, <laughs> what's that? Oh, what? Nine now, oh, 4 more games. All right, so now you Dude. relinquish the rights <laughs> get off, to get me. Off. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Keep buying shit? Dude, it, no, stop if it. Any, if anything, the rights to the podcast go to me because this is my audio equipment. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, but that you're true. not, you're not. Me, so <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, you're like, your name is not Daniel. You're not Daniel. Daniel. Say, okay, Daniel, if, if Fox buys Disney, <laughs> then you'll get the, the rights to the podcast. Okay, well, then in an alternate universe that happened, so that means you relinquish. <laughs> no, 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 but you never specified. <laughs> so, right. so that means that already happened. See, keep right. on, keep right. on agrees. All right, well, see if the sun is blue. Like in another right. universe, another universe. <laughs> no, no, you didn't specify this. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. So, so then that podcast. means you have to give the podcast to me. <laughs> like technically, time is constantly going. So that time where the sun turns blue is happening at yes. right this moment. <laughs> so you're fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi, Miss Vincent. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? We have a guest. <laughs> we have a guest speaker. We have a guest speaker. <laughs> as long as his mom just came through the door. Coolest person ever. Okay, next. I'm in the back. I'm not here to listen. <laughs> <laughs> should, should we close the door or? Nah. nah. <laughs> All right. So next thing. Oh, yeah. I gotta talk about my monitor for a second. Because <laughs> I gotta show uh, Kivon. He doesn't believe oh, in yeah. the 144 yeah, Master he, Race. He believes in the, the one frame Master Race. <laughs> one frame, <laughs> okay. a, a point five and a half. As, <laughs> as you all know, Kivon doesn't really mat, uh, really care about frames all that much. Then we have Bonte here with the, with the freaking... With a new monitor that can reach what 144? 144. Yeah, <coughs> so it can actually display 144 frames per second if yep. you get oh, that. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I gotta show you too. It's it's, uh, it's beautiful. 144 hertz, 24 inch 1080p TV with one millisecond response time. Yeah. And awesome. I got it for 260. I would have got it for a lot cheaper, but Amazon fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, <laughs> anyway, but um, the monitor so far is amazing. I didn't, I, I'm not just using it for my computer. I'm also using it for my consoles. Even with the consoles, amazing. Lower input latency. Um, there's no speakers on it, so I went and bought some more speakers. It was on fucked up again with the speakers, but I finally got them. <laughs> uh, no screen tearing at all? No screen. It depends on the game. If a game supports higher frame rates, no screen tearing. Do you yeah. get screen tearing on Minecraft? <laughs> I actually got some last night for some strange really? reason. And I wasn't even getting over 100 frames. You I know, I don't think of... Server. Out of every game I've ever played, I don't think I've ever gotten screen tearing on Minecraft. I've gotten like I didn't get lag, it the first time I played with but not guys, really but It was that one server, the survival thing. And it happened really occasionally with me. Hmm. That that was probably like server lag. Then. Yeah. Because yeah. in creative, I didn't have any screen yeah. tearing. I don't know. And that's with those shaders that look awesome. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, the monitor's great. I played um, first game I played on it was uh, Insurgency. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Best Good game, game to start to, off. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, I get like 200 frames on this, so I played yeah. that. Then I went to Battlefield 3, because that's like my automatic test thing. I have to test out anything new with that game. That looked amazing. Still, freaking six years later. Doom. Then I played Doom, and yeah. Doom is the go-to game to show off a new monitor, so I'm mm-hmm. showing you to Doom. Because Jeffrey showed me Yeah, Doom. He, Daniel saw it at uh, our friend Jeffrey's house. And um, and he he, saw, ha- he had a one hundred forty. Yeah, the forty forty p one forty four. Yeah, so yeah. Monty, did you bump your microphone or anything? Um, because you're coming in really low for some reason. Hold on, how's that? Go on. How's that? Um, but yeah, like um, how's this? You're coming in at negative eighteen. Hmm, okay. I was pretty far away from the mic. Sound. But, um, <laughs> oh, this sound yeah. <laughs> mm. But yeah, so far the monitor's great. <laughs> I, I can't think of any flaws. Um, <laughs> it came with a display port cable. Yeah, came with that came with HDMI cable as well. Oh, that's awesome. cool. Um, that's it's cool. actually got like the ability to increase the black levels on the screen. Is it HDMI 1.4 or 2.0? I don't know. Probably only. I would imagine it could like, just be 1.4 because it doesn't. It's only 1080p. Can it do yeah. both? Well, can how you how long or that can do both? how much does 1.4 um, like go yeah, up to in terms of like refresh rates? 30? Well, I mean, 30. like oh, the, max the max refresh rate. 120. 120? Okay. Like lower resolutions. Because HDMI 2 does like 4K. Well, use the display port on, yeah, on your the PC, port right? On computer, yeah. Because yeah. okay. HDMI can't do 144. Yeah, it can't. No version display, can yet. Display port can. Which is stupid. <laughs> HDMI yep. should be able to do like 240 <clears throat> by now. Yeah, uh, HDMI 2. Point whatever is it 1? 2.1. 1. Yeah. It does that, like 8K at 60. Yeah. I'm like, that's, that's real useful. Like yeah, seriously. Okay, at sixty. Yeah, Jesus fucking that's God. real useful. Yeah, but the it still can remind do me again what the point of eight K is for when they want to melt your on eyes. The side of a building. Uh, yeah, pretty uh, much. Yeah. If you want to feel like everything going on. The most, the highest resolution you would need for a TV in your house is five K. If you want to become one. That's the highest the you would ever need, to be honest. I, I can do fine with ten eighty. If you have like a freaking mansion. <laughs> I'm still on seven twenty. <laughs> <can, I> <laughs> if you have like a mansion and you look up, I guess then you Granted, can ten eighty of course yeah. is better. If like if my ceiling was a TV, then yeah it'd be five K. Eight K uh, projector. What's funny is honestly, like in terms of like four K I don't need it for like video or anything like that. I need it so I need it for a bigger workspace on programs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. understandable. Yeah, that's, that's the only reason I'd use it. It's just so that. But the then, it, GUI then again, is smaller and fits better. Then again, it it kind of does scale to the resolution though, as best it can. Yeah. But you you still have a lot of space to work with, mm-hmm. but it'll try and scale up to it. Okay. Well, anyway. But. Yeah, so um, I like I love the monitor so far. <laughs> yeah. For the price, it's actually pretty much a steal. Like yeah, two two sixty I paid for it two dollars mm-hmm. sixty cents. Wow. Yeah, and it's like probably one of the best ones you get. It's curved. That doesn't really matter, but um, I guess it gives it better viewing angles since it's yeah, curved. I guess. But um, yeah, picture quality is great. Um, image the image um, great. Response time, great. Frame rate, great. Overall? Great, great, great. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Overall, great. The, um, Give it a great out of eight. The only thing um, that I would look for in it is the color depth. Yeah. Because, um, like, for instance, on my my laptop screen, um, it shows, like, a, a wider range of colors. But yeah. on my actual TV, mm-hmm. it doesn't show that like it's hard to differentiate between yeah. you know this shade of red and that shade of red. Yeah, uh, my my lap- luckily like this on um, this monitor. Oh, it's also Quantum Dot, which is what yeah, Samsung true. uses for like their legit uh, mainstream TVs and for their Samsung Galaxy phones. Mm. So the picture quality there, like, yeah, you're saying it comes out of the box pre-calibrated to look the best at oh, okay. what the industry thinks it is, and you can edit it from there, of course. Yeah. But the colors on that are actually. Damn good. Like this is my old TEP TV, mm-hmm. a Samsung as well. He's pointing. Yeah, and that looked yeah. good. <laughs> it looked good, but the monitor looks better. Of course, it's smaller, so the DPI yeah. is higher. But true, color as well. This looks better, the yeah. brighter and darker at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like, great. What a great great. My great great grandfather had a great. great I think great. that ship has sailed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my, my display on my laptop like cannot. 
like it's really dark. It makes everything darker. Yeah. So yeah. I have to put like the brightness up. And mm-hmm. then as soon as I get to like a white screen, it's like freaking eyes. It's like the Indiana Jones scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My face melts off. <laughs> I'm like, why? But yeah. So that's the monitor. I love it. Um I'm next time I get a monitor it's probably gonna be that one that's gonna cost like a car. <laughs> And then you can get 4K, 144 hertz HDR monitor. Oh, yeah, you can yeah. Give me the one that I think you it's have called the, um, now. I think it's the Asus Predator X27. I think it's gonna, people are gonna be taking out mortgage, mortgages on their house for that. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, didn't Linus do something on that? Like, he, he made like a 16K monitor. display with, oh, with those, I think. It wasn't that monitor, but, um, because that, that monitor hasn't been released yet. It was supposed oh, to come okay, out this yeah, year, yeah, but they yeah. freaking delayed it. <laughs> I'm, I'm complaining like I could afford it anyway. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Um, so yeah that's that monitor's cool and now on to a very interesting topic this is both good and bad so we've always wondered will Disney ever get the rights to X-Men and Fantastic Four so we can see Mm -hmm. all of them back in the MCU well it finally happened it actually officially happened Disney Mm -hmm. is buying a lot of 21st century Fox's assets for the tune of 52.4 billion dollars so now Disney has X Men, Fantastic Four, James Cameron's Avatar, The Simpsons, oh, that's National right. Geographic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. God, Disney is just capturing everything. The mouse is yeah. taking over the planet. <laughs> like it's so, Jesus. Let's see. Disney now has all the Disney films. Clearly, uh, the Marvel Universe. Now they have The Simpsons, and they have a lot of like James Cameron assets. So. If they buy Winter Haven, they have my entire childhood. <laughs> Basically. They have a few they sports have officially people Star out Wars there. They have ESPN. Because Fox mm-hmm. actually still partially owned on Return of the Jedi. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. But yeah, look over the document. That's weird. So now, now Disney could probably release the unedited versions of those original films. Oh, yes. Please do. Yes, please. In HD. So God. I can watch the un-CGI Yeah, I... George Lucas, you George, I love you, but God. with that. The CG in those are terrible. I grew up with that episode six fucking um whole thing in the Yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about. You believe, I came in towards the, the beginning where they were fucking singing. What? I grew up thinking that was part of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that entire that entire beginning part of your sentence was just <laughs> and then and then Jacob goes what <laughs> like if he would have well, I don't even know how to describe that part no like I clocked out for a good ten seconds <laughs> looking at the levels what, what did you even that, say like, that, they were singing in that whatever wherever the hell Jabba was the fuck it was CG they added it in later. oh that oh, yeah oh, you're, you're talking, talking to, about the free oh yes okay, yeah whenever sure. they they grew up thinking feed that, that bitch the, to the star that, or, that uh, weird not the Sarlacc. alien thing <laughs> yeah yes I grew up the, thinking that was how it was released I know thing. same here I'm like oh that was added God fuck George, you why? George <laughs> he 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 needed guidance <laughs> as soon as he got I, free I don't reign think George Lucas knows his own creation as well as <laughs> other people do. Yeah, well, you can say that with, like, anyone. Yeah, but he always calls a lightsaber a laser sword. Well, he's an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what <point> exactly? <laughs> like what Nintendo you? calls Wiimotes re-remotes. I think it's interchangeable. Like, I've yeah, I've yeah. said both. No, but, like, the Nintendo... Ver- like, the fans call it Wiimotes. That was a thing from them. I did. I but thought it both Nintendo were. always called it Wii Remotes. No, yeah. Nintendo's called it Wiimote. I know, but it was beforehand. Shut up. <laughs> well, yeah, of course it was Shut beforehand. up. Yeah, you boof. Oh, you don't call me a boof, you baff. Fucking biff. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> Abbott and Costello, <laughs> calm the fuck down. <laughs> oh, God. Next topic. Birth. Well, that wasn't talking about that one, but yeah, they, they probably bought it. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I'm... They, they confirmed it. Yeah, they're going to. I'm so it. glad that we now own, or that at least <laughs> we now, we now, the we, people, we, we can see. Yeah, we, we see. can we can see an MCU version of X-Men, Fantastic, Fantastic Four and X Men. While we're talking about Disney, do we want to discuss a little bit about the Last Jedi, or do we want to skip over that? Mm. Train I think it's we'll too. Wait yeah. Right, we'll, we'll talk about Holy we'll, shit! We'll I just came across yeah, a realization. No, what? Black Panther and Storm. 
Can yeah. that, that's gonna be a thing oh, now. Oh, that can be. Yeah. Holy yes. fucking. Like Holy Storms, shit. Um, Fuck your Captain shit. Wolverine. Um, Hulk and Wolverine. Hulk and Wolverine. Hulk. Yeah, I still want to see that fight so bad. Please. We have Doom in the MCU. Mm-hmm. A good Doom. He, he'll be the next uh, main villain. I was like legit hyped for this because I'm, I was thinking. Yeah. I can see it in my mind now. They make the X-Men film. They like do like, you know how with Spider-Man, they played the Spider-Man theme with the Marvel logo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Do yeah. that for the 90s X-Men show. Oh. Dude, yes. Yvonne, now that you've said Black Panther and Storm, they're not going to want to see a fight. The fans are now going to want to ship them. That's the, that's that's the, the point. point. Yeah. yeah, that's the point. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they, they, they were, were a couple. They, they, did the, they did the... Oh, <laughs> they did... I didn't realize. Did I thought fuck. you were referring to, like, the fighting. And oh, no, they did the fuck. No, no, they... Oh, they did <laughs> Black Panther warmed their boss Doongle. Or both <laughs> in, in Storm's Majugali. <laughs> like you make an African love baby. No, Jubilee's a separate character. Yeah. I would find do Jubilee justice, probably. Uh, I, could. I don't give a shit. Really. Yeah, the the only X Man I care about is Cyclops. Out of my out of my out of my life. On my life. Cyclops. Bump Cyclops. Bump you. He's a dick. Cyclops is he's Trash. like the weakest X Men alive. <laughs> he's a dick. He's not only he's, but he's got the cool laser eyes that go beep beep. You mean then that's all he can do? Eyes. It's a portal. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes are portals. His eyes are portals. His, I hate like all he has <laughs> is like he's the leader. <laughs> he was okay in evolution though. He killed yeah. Professor Xavier. Yeah, I know that. No, he's like the, the Anakin been... Skywalker of, <laughs> of basically. Like if you think about it, basically <laughs> oh, liar. <my> <laughs> <laughs> he he killed all the youngling X Men. <laughs> <laughs> I would be surprised oh, if he went that far. Master Cyclops, you've come to see us. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! I like hate, he's just going I hate through sand. the he's yeah. going through the temple and he's like Cyclops help! <laughs> 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 oh my god! Next, but yeah, next, next. I'm I, uh, I'm glad about that. So yeah, um, yeah the mouse is taking over the world. Next, they're gonna buy our souls. Then the rest to the universe. Good. And then the rest. To I the like that that one meme. So Black Panther and then Storm Microsoft. did the sex. They did the yes, sex. Yes, they did. A when lot. was this? Forever. Yes. Forever. I don't fucking know comics. <laughs> They're divorced Black, now. Black yeah. Panther stormed her castle. Oh <laughs> next, next, Black Storm. Next topic. <laughs> Black Sto- Storm Panther. Storm. <laughs> Stand a child. That's probably yeah, what next topic out. before the universe implodes. Panther. Wait for that. <laughs> Born. So, <laughs> oh, Galactus too. Holy Galactus shit. Too. Galactus. Oh, fucking yes. Oh, what about Silver um? Surfer. They could they could Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer. Yeah, they could do um a correct version of Ultron. Of, of uh no um, what's his name? Uh, Apocalypse eh. or, or no not Apocalypse. Uh, fucking I can't remember. Who's, who's who's the who's the X Men Thanos guy. Apocalypse. Oh, Apocalypse. Apocalypse said yeah. it. Okay. The blue guy. Yeah. Yeah. Apocalypse. The Acropolis. No. <laughs> they, oh. <laughs> they can actually do Psylocke right, too. Why did you convulse no, so much and partially jump out of Psylocke? Yeah, <laughs> just like, it did the fucking... Like, yeah. I huh? wanted to Before give you, but I didn't. <laughs> so I yes. thought it was fighting costumes. itself. It's okay with Stipper, just give it some color. Costumes for the X-Men. Please? <laughs> can I see Wolverine in yellow? In, 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 his, blue. in his pink... Thong. No, no. <laughs> he needs to I be. I see Rogan Green in yellow. They, they need to be gritty. They need to be hard. They need to be like hard. Oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> All right. Now, Harry now, now, all we need is is Disney to buy uh, the DC universe from Warner Bros. I want to do that. Low, <laughs> low high. I do too. No, yeah, low high. And then Honestly. they buy Matrix, so they can. And then we all. The DCU, <laughs> and then we get right. Batman versus Thanos. Batman probably won with his bullshit. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> he yeah, with prep time. Yeah. Prep time. Get, get with prep time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I see he'll have a contingency plan. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he will. So, oh, so you're Batman. Oh, so you're But Thanos. you know, Batman <laughs> can be Thanos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All he has to do is just... <laughs> Batman has, has a... <laughs> you know he do some bullshit like that. No, we're still on the Batman and Thanos thing. We're like, yeah, I Batman my own. makes his own Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> I was going to okay, say, everyone, like, everyone, 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 everyone. Just calm down. No, this is a good. A he gets. He here. gets a. I mean, uh, considering what happened. Feather, and tickles Thanos <laughs> and distracts him long enough to take the Infinity Stones out. <laughs> he's like, he, 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 he's like, so yeah. he looks so distraught. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next topic. I got, I got a contingency plan if they ever pull some bullshit like that. I'm gonna walk out of the theater. <laughs> I still love how when Batman said contingency plan in the 
Justice League movie. We both groaned <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was triggered. I was looking okay triggered. I'm glad okay. you returned, uh-huh. you piece of shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Next fucking topic. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. Back to Elon Musk. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, we haven't uh, talked about him. You mean our Lord and Savior, oh Sexy God. Christ. With his 10 Tesla mints. Yes. 24. Tesla 24. 24. And oh. counting. And counting. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, Tesla. It revealed the Tesla semi truck. Which looks fucking awesome. It looks awesome. This it's, is old news, but still. It's old news. We were going to do this last week. Yeah. Life. I lo- life happened. I love how he does rockets and cars yeah <laughs> <laughs> and and um a payment system yeah, just man any any form of transport i got you and it's what a train's like payment to transport for yeah. the so same said that semi beats real <laughs> get you a man who can do both get Elon you a musk get you a musk that can do both i was talking yeah. to my dad about the semi truck and i was saying like how it was more powerful than like a a normal diesel yeah. semi truck, and he was like, "I don't believe that." I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, all right, I, I'll, I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll believe that. I don't believe that." So I'll, I'll have to to prove yeah, him show wrong. The specs. Yeah, <laughs> the <Yeah>. specs. <laughs> prove him wrong by buying it. Yeah, <laughs> and drive it into. The I house. told you, Dad. <laughs> you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> Crash, he's driving over when you crash into him with a Tesla. He's all hurt from the wreck, but your Tesla's just not even scratched. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. I've taken so many loans. <laughs> all to prove you wrong, Dad. I don't believe that. <laughs> that voice. I have become deaf. I, I love how... Worlds. I love how accurate that voice was, too. That was not accurate at <laughs> all. <laughs> your, your father's a, a dying goblin, man. <laughs> you know, one day in the future, my dad is going to listen to these and and probably, like, get cancer from it somehow. And... <laughs> And he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna listen to this. <laughs> and after that, I don't know what happens. No, Daniel. <laughs> after you become famous, after you become the next like owner of Tesla, like he's gonna reach back to this podcast because you haven't called him in years. And he's like, I miss I miss the youth, Daniel. <laughs> and he hears you say that, and he, there's like a single tear going over his face. And then he's gonna listen to you talking, <laughs> and then he's gonna be like, Why did my son hang out with this faggot? <laughs> <laughs> What's hey, was that? Be like, holy shit, they curse a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, those were his friends. Yeah. I only knew them. I the, failed them the, somehow. I only knew them at Facebook. <laughs> you <fans>. failed them? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How did this get to this? <laughs> Because yes. reasons. Because we were talking back about to the, the topic. Then the fucking Jonathan. Back to the, tru- back to the trucking fuck. It's not always me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the specs are. I blame everything on you. There's four other that people. That is true. Everything goes wrong. Blame Jonathan. Yeah. The specs, but please. The specs. So there are two versions of the truck. One costs 150,000. One costs The cost big one, and then there's money, a mini version two. of it. Yeah. And um, so it can go from zero to sixty and with a full load. Or without a load in five seconds. Just like me on <laughs> November. <God>. That's enough. <laughs> nah, bro. That's <laughs> me. With a, full, with a full load of... Uh, Except I can go to zero pounds. to 100 with <laughs> a full Everyone load. Everyone is typing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is typing. With a full load, you can go from zero to 20. Um, from zero to 60 in 20 seconds. Ooh. It has a 500 mile range. Mm. It can charge 400 um, mm, miles charge. in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, a break for a trucker is 30 minutes. So yeah. It's more than enough. It has autopilot standard built in. Ooh, I like that. I can call an ambulance in case yeah. the driver becomes unresponsive. Mm-hmm. Am I behind? And the they time? give it a one yes, million Jonathan. mile warranty. A what? A lot one of trucks. Some of them. Jesus Christ. One yeah. million? They give that, you a guarantee it can work for a million miles. If Damn, that is a well-made machine. If... If that can electricity, bro. Electric vehicles are the way to go. Yeah. And then it has thermonuclear therm- God. Yes. Thermonuclear? Thermonuclear explosion proof glass. Yes, yes it does. So it can survive so like a nuclear the, war. the whole chassis and everything but the glass will be blown away if there was a thermonuclear warhead detonated next to you. But at least the glass is okay. Then, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> if it fails You'll get your money back guaranteed. Thank yeah. Thank money you. back he, guaranteed. He said that you the radiation. That's true, yeah. He said that during the thing, if it fails, yep. get your money back. Just, <laughs> just, get, just get like a dome of this glass. Just, just make the whole just chassis 
Uh, the entire semi. The whole semi. body of the semi truck out of that glass. Yeah, those Model S's are aluminum. So, like, what's the semi made out of? I don't know. Semi aluminum. Smith <laughs> Musk. Yeah, <laughs> his Musk is so powerful that it's able There's to a, uh, create a metal drone fleet on procedure. So if one person is driving one, you can have like up to three to show in the picture. Mm-hmm. Three or more follow behind it autonomously. Oh, and they I say see. using that system, it's more efficient than rail. So bump trains. Yep. Basically. <laughs> Our train system in America sucks anyway. It kind of does, yeah. It's not even a kind of. It just does. Yeah. I'm That's like, why I'm looking forward to high school. Because, like, every other, every other country has has a much better developed Real train system. system. Yeah. yeah. And then here well, we are, like, <laughs> sniffing the paste. will destroy train. Yeah. And price Rusty and... Ass. Uh, there was Rusty a train ass. accident not too long ago. Yeah, I've heard like, about this. That was, like, um, this week, Amtrek. Yeah, yeah it was... Uh, in, I. I can't remember Maybe exactly like where. Seattle or something. Like Washington. Tacoma, something like that. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they were going 80 miles an hour on on across a road yep. crossing Oof. where you're supposed to slow, slow down, down to. The guy it. wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yep. And the conductor didn't even get hurt. But three, yeah. Did you yeah. want the conductor to get hurt? I mean, well, like three people died. It. If anyone had to die, it should have been him for not doing his job. Fair enough, I suppose. Should have yeah. been like the but Titanic. <laughs> Oh shit! I love that. I love that legend. <laughs> yeah, the legend of the Amtrak. <laughs> it happened though. Titanic didn't happen to yeah. The yeah. little, the little conductor that. Could. The, the little, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Titanic didn't happen. That's sweet. Yeah. Semi truck is fucking OP. <laughs> nice. Next, you're gonna tell us the Earth is flat. Next topic. Earth That's is flat. flat. Yeah. I, I can't job. wait for them to make uh, the pickup truck version. Yeah. I hope they I hope they redo the body. I don't will. I don't want them to use the semi yeah, uh, the mini semi like, body. It looks, wouldn't have to change the design too much. It yeah. looks like a a very cheap uh it looks like a toy car. Yeah, that was just scaled up. Yeah. You can pick up those but Yeah, it's um Bitches, production will yeah. start in twenty nineteen. Um, most uh, semi yeah, trucks now <laughs> cost about eighty thousand to one hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And this semi is going to cost one hundred eighty thousand for the most expensive version. <laughs> okay, so it's so actually it's competitive in price class, compared bitch. to their other cars. <laughs> yeah, and um, there's been a lot of heroes already. UPS just ordered one hundred and twenty-five trucks. Oh, okay. Because I knew I know Walmart. <laughs> did. Walmart ordered like a Are you something. guys okay? <laughs> <laughs> is the bitch all right? <laughs> Kill John. Can, can your glass survive a nuclear war? I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he pretty much said that on the press conference. <laughs> so, yeah, Wal- so Walmart bought Walmart it, and then now, now yeah. UPS. Yes, public, <laughs> Hopefully, they'll get their shit on time yeah. and quick. Wait, who bought what? Um, UPS ordered 125 of these already. Oh, well, hopefully UPS delivers my package before <laughs> 8 p.m. I hate UPS. I don't fuck with UPS like that either. I it's all it. about that USPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah USPS they is reliable. reliable. USPS is pretty much still going to be a delay because all the fuckers using gas cars and gas trucks still. True. That True. and so yeah, it's holidays. Like people just. Yeah. But I mean, like in terms of up. safety and like productivity and efficiency, there you go. And it doesn't cost that much more. Yeah, it's how much pretty much. Most semis cost between eighty thousand to one hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, because me and you looked this up, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, and, and then this one starts at one fifty with the small one and goes up to one hundred eighty thousand for the most expensive. So you pay thirty thousand more than you would for a top of the line but gas you semi. Get more you get the out top of, of the line Tesla semi. That's well worth it because it's yep. cheaper, no gas. Um, it it'll pay for itself. Pays for itself. It's more aerodynamic. Yeah, it's faster. It's safer. It's oh. yeah. You're. It's the obvious choice to go with. All you people with money to blow, you heard for, you heard tech peasants. <laughs> if, if I had money to blow, I wouldn't buy any other Tesla model except the Semi, just because I can. If I had money to blow, I would blow money. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy a All Falcon right, 9 and attach it to I'd the buy semi. a Warhead to test this so shit out. <laughs> yeah, if it doesn't work, I'll so my fucking money space. back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be my flying spaceship car. I can just <laughs> land with it. Oh, so, so Elon <laughs> I land, Musk. I land a booster. I'm just like sitting like this. All right. Well, Elon yeah. Musk wants to do that. <laughs> like you're driving down, like sup faggots. <laughs> didn't didn't uh, Elon Musk want to take his roadster uh, yeah. to yeah, Mars we'll or something? Oh, okay, we'll get to that in a second. Right. But uh, well, yeah, at that Tesla event, they announced all that. Then they, he walked off the stage for thinking, "All right, it's done." Nope, they announced a new Tesla Roadster. Yep, 
And this thing looks fucking sexy. It, it really zooms nice. Onto the stage. It goes zoom, zoom, zoom. It goes zoom, zoom, zoom. Except it, it doesn't because it's thing. quiet. Yeah. The effects for this quiet. thing are fucking unbelievable. <laughs> it can go from 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. So it's the first production card to break the two second yep. um, for that. It can go from 0 to 104.2 seconds. It can make a quarter mile in 8.9 seconds. <laughs> the max speed is over 250 miles per Jesus hour. Jesus Christ. For it's using a 200 kilowatt battery, so it has 620 miles of range. Jesus. It's a four-seater. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I couldn't fit in the back, but it's a four-seater. It's it, convertible. It's, it's like a Mustang interior, yeah. kind of. It's like convertible. It's really cramped. It'll be available in 2020, and it's uh, $200,000. You just imagine Mad Max. So affordable. With they actually, um, I was reading comparison something. Comparison-wise, it is actually affordable compared to yeah. other supercars. I was, I was reading so that expensive uh, as fuck, it, but affordable. it beat out a Lotus. I can't remember the specific model yeah, Lotus. Lotus are nice. Um, but, yeah, Lotus, for those who don't know, is a exotic... Uh, it's a European uh, car. Sport thing. car a manufacturer. Yeah, yeah European. Yeah. Um, and they beat they beat out the Lotus on on price and performance Damn. basically, or I th- I think I want to say like pretty much on down the list it was like yeah. check marks. And the crazy thing is, he roadster. said this is the base model. Yeah, like how with the Model Upgrade, S they bitch. have those new yeah. batteries and like faster speeds. Mm-hmm. But I have something better than this. Yeah, like shit. <laughs> And people still and the want wheel gas is cars. like shaped like a like a um, spaceship wheel kind of. It's got like the two grips. It's just a matter of um, price. That's, yeah, that's yeah. the main thing about it. Yeah, and exactly. to be honest, like this is it'll become more common. You don't place. need this. <laughs> you no don't. one needs this, but we want it. But we, we want it. <laughs> yeah, but we want it. <laughs> the Model Three is thirty five thousand, and of course, it, the Rolls Royce that was like a piece of shit. But at the same time, the Rolls the mm-hmm. Model Three is still better than like almost all. Gas cars right now, they pretty can much. Just in war, guys. They will, uh-huh. they will weaponize this. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's what governments are going to like be at. Elon I was Musk joking like, with um Daniel like uh, um a few days ago. I was like, if they took like four of these cars, they'd be like a Batmobile. Yes, yeah. It would be like because <laughs> yeah, we were Batmobile. talking about Arkham Knight and the Batmobile in there, and like we could actually make one of those with. Tesla motors. That's awesome. <laughs> it will work too. And they wouldn't even need the thruster, just have the wheels. Nope. Yeah, that'd be good enough. Well, yeah, so that's the roadster. Uh, if I ever get rich, I'll buy one. Yeah. If I don't get rich, oh well. Buy I'll, I'll buy I'll one. Buy one. <laughs> I'll, 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 go I'll steal get, one. I'll go online and get a picture of one and say, look, I probably was able to afford this camera. You yeah. Photoshop yourself next Photoshop to it. Photoshop myself, it's really shittily into the car. <laughs> Pretend that you're. Purchasing it from Amazon so you can complain about Amazon shipping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they well, should be the... No, I'm like, this thing goes for over 250 miles an hour. Why is it late? No excuses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they send it in the box. <laughs> yeah. The it's it's just a box, but the wheels are at the bottom. So yeah. it's just a <laughs> box that was traveling down the highway. Some assembly required. <laughs> they send it in, like, separate parts no, with they, drones. They use <laughs> Ikea as as a retailer. They love, they so you have to assemble the... <laughs> It like oh burns up all my grass, but I'm like, here's your car. Like, <laughs> worth it. <laughs> like you're you're just sitting in your room. Uh, your house is burnt. <laughs> it's gone. You're just sitting like like you you were playing your on your PC and you had your hands out and you're just like, what just happened? <laughs> you're like goes up to ninety degrees and it just turns off. Yeah. My house is still great. So I'm just like, oh shit. Like, the car's here. I'm like, oh lit. <laughs> oh shit. Hey bro, my new oh, house. Lit. <laughs> oh lit. All right, next topic. Next topic. Uh, so, um, SpaceX is going to launch the Falcon Heavy next month, hopefully. Well, this That'll thing was cool. supposed to launch in 2013, but... <laughs> <laughs> Where is it headed? Uh, it's no right, one knows. Right now, it's no. in the Cape. They're going to launch it from the same pad they launched um, the Saturn V from. I know, but, like, is it going to... Tomorrow. Is it just hitting space and coming back, or, like... He said... I don't know if he was serious or not. He's serious about launching his car in it. He's launching an old roadster as the cargo. Mm-hmm. He said the target is Mars. I don't know if that's legit. The okay, target is Mars. Okay, what's the point of him watching the car in space? They're just testing because out the rocket. Can. Because, because he's extra. Like, why? They're just testing. It. He said it was gonna have a silly payload because they're just testing it out. Mm-hmm. Ah. Nothing important is on this thing because there's a good chance it could blow up. So it's like let's just put something silly on. Might here. as well oh, look, put my, my life roaster. in there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> From my hopes and dreams. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Shit. The cool thing is apparently. They're going to try and launch that. Apparently, all three boosters should come back down and land. 
Hmm. If that happens, that'll be fucking amazing. Yeah. The strongest rocket currently in, in use, and like all the boosters were able to come back and land. I'm gonna assume they're either streaming this or oh yeah, they yeah, stream they'll, they'll stream it. They always do, and they'll probably that's gonna be fucking awesome though. Yeah, like seeing how like all three separate, like yeah, exactly. And then they 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 come back and blow up the rocket. <laughs> they form a swastika in the air. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then like the transmission interrupts to Elon Musk with like a Hitler mustache. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll finish what you started. <laughs> and there we go. We've gone to the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> the longer no, they stare into the abyss, the longer the abyss stares of, into you. Courtesy of Daniel. <laughs> he like not like they land the rockets back and they're like. Oh, we Screw up! They all land on the same pad. They just stack up on each other. Yeah, <laughs> he like dabs and then he like hit the salutes. <laughs> oh <my dabbing>. God. <laughs> but whenever he dabs at the apex of it, like uh, it flashes like Hitler's picture for a split second. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> His extended hand when he dabs hits the uh, nuclear launch code button. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to test my cars out. <laughs> my new semi. Like every every semi has a we're, nuclear bomb inside of it. We're, we're, <laughs> that's where the nuclear blast glass came exactly. from. We're we're giving conspiracy theorists fuel. Right I'm, now. I'm sure there is a theory out there yeah, that Elon Musk base. is Hel- Hutler. Oh god. Hail Hail Hortler. Hail Hutler. Next. Oh my god. Next. Next. But yeah, they also he also put out some pictures yesterday of the rocket in the hangar. Adolf looks Musk. freaking awesome. I like they put screen. it on a coat hanger. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they have an, an an experimental shrink ray. Daniel, that was fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why. As it's good. is everything that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Next topic. But yeah, I looking forward to that mouth. launch if it actually happens. <laughs> it actually happens. Although they're going to see it, but I'm going to see it in person like I did with you. Oh, God. Is the bitch all right? No, because I said everything out of my mouth uh, is stupid. And then Jonathan goes, I love you, Mom. <laughs> God damn it. Next topic. Next I, topic. I believe topic. peace More about made. space. The uh, interstellar object that was announced a few weeks ago. Oh, the space dildo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We found a fucking device or object from another fucking point of the universe. First thing we say, oh, it's a space dildo. Yep. <laughs> fucking serious. Or humans. I love this. Humans. This is how. This humans, is why we should all die. This <laughs> is how hey, humans here to do. Fuck your son, the son, in the ass. If if human race is to be annihilated on planet Earth, I want it to be by a penis shaped object. <laughs> <laughs> There's like so Earth can spray his cheeks one last so time. Literally, <laughs> so Earth literally Chan can fuck you over. Now. <laughs> so Earth Chan can go out fighting. <laughs> oh my God. There's like there's like a giant like crater like in the center of like Earth that we don't and know then about. the dildo just goes right to it. <laughs> Nothing good can come of it. And this. then there's just this uh, white substance that's inside of it. Oh, God. It eats away at Earth. <laughs> and then and then like there's just an... just like the mantle survives, so in a sense it's like the earth had a baby. Yeah, like deep in the earth's core there's a there's a the earth, the earth an is egg often, left is there's an fuck. egg the waiting to be fertilized. Portrayed, the earth is often portrayed as female. Do you know what the Mariana Trench is? <laughs> there you go. Oh. It's, it's hitting the ring of fire. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So then that, means, that means the earth has an STD. <laughs> it's on fire. Do you think earth has not fucked right, other planets? That's, more that's, more that's why we have earthquakes. It I has the class. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, Savanti, tell us more about the space cigar. All right. They were saying because of the uh, make and model of the device. Make and model. Make and model of the of, freaking of object. The, of the object. Yeah, it probably doesn't have any liquid or water in it. Now they're saying I it might. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some liquid in it. <laughs> is, it like a, is it like a man-made object or is it like an alien? Is it a rock? You don't know what oh, the we, fuck we, it is. Yeah, we've confirmed this, Jonathan. I'm, we've spoken to aliens if already. We, if we can, if we can I mean, already claim key. it as a dildo. <laughs> I mean, low-key. Like sure the, we have, the but... first piece symbol that the aliens have sent us <laughs> is a penis. <laughs> like, what if other, like... Civilizations out there worship the penis just like Earth does, just like humanity does. Damn, They're dumber than we are. Imagine an alien I'd be sad penis. for like existence. It's like an kid. Would you off your? <laughs> Bro, like, like, I probably would off myself. <laughs> Bro, this weird noodly tentacle thing that goes. 
I'm Damn. okay with it. They all have the smartest bees in existence, right? Now? I, I, I'd probably what kill us. Probably... Yeah, then I would. Let's these just go aliens, ahead and end our. These aliens are listening to the Tech Peasants podcast right now, and they're laughing their asses off if they have asses. No, Illu- <laughs> <laughs> Illuminati is currently texting all of us. Yeah, to stay where they're stay right. <laughs> oh, yep, here goes my phone. <laughs> my I told you to turn that off. <laughs> Like uh, next topic, left us up. Or, or I need to talk about this. Back. That's all I want to say. The thing might have water in it, so we have like a fucking alien milkshake going through the galaxy <laughs> right now. If you know alien. what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Alien milkshake. That's great. <laughs> like in the next science, like, next two weeks, two balls come <laughs> <laughs> and it completes it was it. The Exodia. <laughs> <laughs> Or like maybe they're supposed to actually send like an actual like like their being, but only the penis made it. Yeah, they're they're celestial, so like they're huge, but only their penis made it. <laughs> What's that one villain from fucking Guardians Two? What happened, Ego? Oh, um, Ego. Yeah, yeah Ego. Ego. What happened? Awesome. I made a planet, and then I made a penis. <laughs> My penis. <laughs> we need Doctor Strange because that's Dormammu's penis. Oh, God. He's come. That's He's come to my head. <laughs> Dormammu, <come>. I've come. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Next. That's all I want to say. So, yeah, that, that went left this Thank spot. Thank God. You give him a... <laughs> when it rains, it fucking pours in this podcast. <laughs> that's the main thing you should learn. I hope this is entertaining. It isn't. <laughs> if anyone's watching this, if you want to watch this, this past like the first twenty minutes, they're God, please, please. Put Money. this in the put this in like the suggested videos for Boulevard of Broken Toys. I've, if, oh my if god! If anyone is watching this, please send me money. I salute you. Please give me money. I'm trying to get that new roadster. Bro. My address is one two three. Help. <laughs> I love you, John Tron. <laughs> <laughs> this is for my man John Tron out this, there. This is for my <laughs> for all the John Trons out there. All right, next topic. Next. All right, next topic. God damn. <laughs> next topic. A baby was born after being conceived twenty four years ago. Mm-hmm. The fuck? A baby was born after being conceived. So basically, uh, this baby was uh, got to the embryo stage, <laughs> and then in, they froze the embryo. This was in the nineties. Yeah, yeah. They the froze they... the embryo, unthought it, and she just got born. Yep. I didn't know this would happen. It's a female. Yeah. Hmm. So well, yeah, this will this will be like the first human in history to to be born under those circumstances. So she can like, legally drink for her own celebration. True. That is, That's true. As soon as she's born, if, she's like bottoms up. Yeah. Bottoms up, bitch. Bottoms up. How old are you? I am. I'm, I'm twenty five. I'm technically you know, forty. I'm technically forty. <laughs> I'm dead inside. <laughs> Who's holding me in the trap? So, so then that, that, that next topic. Mark, let's stop memeing for just a couple seconds. That was like to the actually last, do a topic. That was the is, last main topic. The, oh, okay. The next one is um. Back to memes then. <laughs> the, the next one is um, games we've been playing this year. Looking forward to next year, and then we'll talk about Last Jedi. Okay. We've been playing this year. Uh, I just shit since the last since our last podcast. Yeah, man. Fuck. Yeah. Well, yep. I've discovered uh, Dead Space. Like, it was on sale one of these Steam sales ago. Right. And um, it was, like, what, 4 or $5? So I was like, sure, let me pick it up. It looks interesting. And I freaking love it. Good. <laughs> like, it, it's... This I am one, sure the first one? The first one. Oh. And then shortly afterward, I bought the second one. <laughs> like, I love how... It, like, they hit the atmosphere perfectly for that. You're on a ship. It's covered with, like, like flood-like beings. And, like, it's fucking... It's scary. Like, it gets me a few times. And, like, my reaction time, usually if I, like, walk and then there's something in the corner, I, like, shoot before I react. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I have to, it, like, better. ammo is pretty scarce, too. Oh, so you have to, God. depending on your difficulty. I'm not a bitch, so I have to, <laughs> have to play hard. But it was fun. I, I played that. It's my game of the year for me, even though it's old. <laughs> My friend. Oh, my next? My friend. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's <laughs> that, too? Game of the year. Um, shit, since the last podcast. Um, I played... Um, the Walmart simulator. The Walmart simulator <laughs> in my life. I got the platinum. Um, no. But um, I've been playing... Uh, well, I finished, rather, Horizon, um, the Frozen Wilds. The 
Frozen. It's the DLC. DLC. It's DLC. a DLC. Oh, okay, okay. And um, that shit is hard as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine. Yeah, like, um, because I played a default game on hard mode, and it's like the DLC is just like five times harder. It got new monsters, fucking frost claws. Is it worth it? The DLC? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because um, I actually paid 20 for it when it was actually 15, but um, um, what's his name? Um, I think whatever they're fucking called. They sent me my five dollars back. Oh, okay. So I'll use that. So yeah, fifteen dollars is uh, it's definitely worth it. Plus I've... a free hug coupon. Oh yeah, so he did re- <laughs> refund the people that bought it a little after. Yeah, they did. Um, yeah, let's no. see. What else have I been playing? I've downloaded so many fucking games. I'm not even gonna list all of them. I, <laughs> I've been on free game findings on Reddit recently. Right. Oh my god. And um, I've also finished uh, Shantae and the Pirates Curse. That is by far the best Shantae game. It is. <laughs> <laughs> an improvement from Half Genie Hero, even though it came out before. Uh-huh. It's an improvement in level, in um, in terms of level design. Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, level design is an improvement. The only thing that's a downgrade, of course, is the art style. It's not the typical. Well, it's actually the typical um, 16 bit or whatever the fuck you want to call. It. I don't know what it's called. Okay. But overall, yeah, it's definitely the best Shantae game. I, I'm interested in playing. Shanty. I mean, if you like um, Collectathon, Science Schoolers, <laughs> you'll love it. Right. Yeah. And, um, oh, my biggest one, of course, is yeah. Overwatch. Oh. I've been all over Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep on slapping the knees. <laughs> all right, I am 116 on that uh, game right now. Yeah. What's your handle so people can follow you and kill you? I ain't shit. <laughs> on, I ain't on, shit, on on Overwatch. I sleep. <laughs> I sleep, not only. And, um, that's, and that's pretty much it for me. All right, Daniel. So, Daniel. Okay, so... What's your game of the year, though? Oh, oh yeah. Well, my game of the year? Uh, Persona 5, obviously. <laughs> 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 What's Peef. my game of the year? <laughs> okay, so I'm doing the candy coronation whenever I'm talking, and then keep on just slapping the yeah. <laughs> Slapping these. But yeah, Persona 5 is my game of the year. It won RPG of the year um, in the Game Awards, so... I still want to play the I'm content Persona enough. series, so... I say try it. You may or may not like it, but try it. Don't be like we'll see. fucking broken games and just fuck <laughs> the game. <laughs> try, it. try it. Just try it. It's science. Well, yeah. No one's going to get that reference. No one. Except all of us. But I'm That's done. True. Yeah. Okay, so I have a bit of an announcement to make. Oh, right, um, right, right. I'm gay. gay. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> I, I just didn't think I would come out this soon. No. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> so I bought a... High end gaming PC. <laughs> you joined oh, the so, audio. You joined so now, now I can play Arkham Knight at a solid frame it's rate. All about that one, it's all about that five frames per but second. Yeah, I'm going to downgrade it. Uh-huh. Right. I can play at how it's meant to uh-huh. five frames. So Elite. I forgot to bring the list of, um, like, I, I got the specifics of my build, but. Um, you got a 1070. I, yeah, I got a. Um, a a GTX 1070 gigabyte. It's the mini version. Um, I think it's called OTX, but the eight gigabyte um, 1070. Uh, my CPU is an Intel i7 7700, uh, not the K, but it, it was a pre-built, so they did whatever. Yeah. Um, I got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, uh, two eight gig sticks. Um, they're by Rip Jaws. Or no no no. Um, I think that's the name of it, but I can't remember the company. Oh, the Rip Jaw is the name. I don't know the company. Yeah. Um, I was looking at Rip Jaws. My motherboard is by Asus, and I can't remember the the actual number. Or the Asus makes great stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what what I, I bought it by, uh, from ABS, and for some reason they wanted they put a mini PC build. In, in my huge uh, PC tower. Okay. So, like, my actual PC parts are housed in, like, the top section of, <laughs> of my PC. But, um, yeah, I got... So I have the mini version of the 1070 in a, in a mini motherboard. Okay. Um, That's cool. I have a Thermaltake 600-watt uh, plus power supply. Um... I have a 240 gig SSD. I can't remember the brand name. I have a one terabyte uh, hard drive by Toshiba, and it is oh, I'm sorry. 7200 RPM. 
Um, let me see what else. Hey, this is a terabyte. I mean, we, that's the least. If need. possible, you can put this in like the description. Yeah, I could also do that. If it's yeah, yeah. yeah I I'll, I precise. I shouldn't have. That's yeah. it's uh, keep going. Um, <laughs> continue. That's okay. pretty much that's it. That's fine. I need to zone out for five minutes. But yeah, I shouldn't have babbled well, on um, like that. Um, did you get any? Um, did you download any games? Since? Yeah, I, I oh, just yeah. I didn't buy any games because that yeah, drained my account. I had I like forty dollars after that. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I've I've been replaying all the all my games in ultra settings, 1080p. Get a I, I don't go below 60 frames on, on pretty much every That's game good. that I have. So I'm we, I am elated and I, I can finally play emulated games uh, like that I couldn't play on my laptop. We got CMU working. CMU, I got that working. The most I can do now is buy a very high quality gaming laptop until further notice. Hmm. I, I would, you I would say, get a good laptop. Yeah, you, they do have uh, like laptops that rival. Yeah, uh, gaming desktops. That's probably what I do. I mean, mine is pretty good for. Yeah, Jonathan yeah. has a 1050. Um, Get that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it now. But yeah. Well, yeah. So in terms of, is there a game of the year for you? Game of the year. Um, that came out this year. Oh, it didn't have no, to come. Out, it didn't have to come out this year. Whatever you really got into this year. Whatever I really got into this year, I've played Astroneer, <laughs> and uh, it's it's a good game and. It's on sale right now too. It's like, like everything 15, on Steam. It's yeah, like fifteen dollars. Yeah, but honestly, I don't know if I have a game of the year. Insurgency. A game you just. Never, I mean, Insurgency is just, fun. You, a game like, that you played a lot this year, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess Insurgency. Like we we've game. been playing that. Me, Jonathan, uh, Savanti. Yeah. Um, and honestly, it has made me a better FPS player. I I have yeah. honestly gotten better at at any first person shooter mm -hmm. because like I'm very now tactical when it comes to playing. Yeah. Um. So Insurgency is probably the game that I've gotten into, even though I've had it for a while. Yeah. And oh. I can't wait for the sequel. Oh my God! Yes. Insurgency Sandstorm. That's coming out next year. I, I so. think. Yeah. But yeah. Um. That's all I've had to say. I've I've gone on way too long. Enjoy. Oh, well, going on to me. Um, the games I've been playing, um, there was a new map that was released for Viscera Cleanup Detail that Daniel and I oh, yeah, that too. Uh, played yeah. the majority of. We got bored with it because <laughs> that's usually what happens. Um, it's an, uh, an alright map. Uh, it has a new mechanic. Hank, are you two okay? No, we're not. Keep going, though. Sorry. Alright. Sorry. Um, it had a new mechanic, paint. Um, eh, it's not my favorite mechanic. It was kind of yeah. annoying. It, 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 he, they updated that, so it's easier to, um, if you accidentally get acid splotches on, on the wall or floor, you can easily get that up now. So uh, that yeah. problem that I was having with it, we, we, it should be okay. Okay, okay well, e either way, it wasn't my favorite mechanic. The map was kind of boring looking. Yeah, um, yeah, it's nothing we haven't seen. Yeah, well, if you have it set in an office setting that's bland and boring, chances are it's going to be bland and boring no matter how good the game is. Yeah. <laughs> so, eh, it was all right. A uh, game that, um, this game has been a cockroach of the game industry for about seven and a half years now, and I never touched it. And I finally decided around Thanksgiving to finally play it. I finally started playing Skyrim. And <laughs> I have gone, like... 23 hours into the game and just 23 I, I love it <laughs> i feel like oh, you've done oh, more it's gonna be plenty more yeah. oh yeah i barely scratched the surface of the game yeah and yeah, that's like just, that, that's just, just vanilla on. uh skyrim too yeah it's super super fun um when i retire i'll play it on the ps20 <laughs> <laughs> it's super fun i absolutely love it's it gonna be and it will be <laughs> what's really funny is i was putting it off for putting off playing Skyrim for a long time and i'll get to it eventually i'll get to it eventually and then the time that I started playing Skyrim... Eventually came around. <laughs> the time that I started playing Skyrim corresponded directly with Skyrim being released on the Switch. <laughs> and I, that was pure coincidence. I swear to you that was pure coincidence, but I thought that was hilarious. You planned it. 
You liar. Fuck off. <laughs> liar. <laughs> liar. <laughs> um, I absolutely love it. I, of course, um, I obviously went for the magic caster sort of thing where my defense is shit, but I keep chain lightning everything. It is. <laughs> so it's super fun. Um, you already know I'm sneaky. I'm essentially, <laughs> yeah, I'm essentially uh, Lord Palpatine with like my <laughs> lightning fingers. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Um, I've become like the Jarl of White Run. I'm about to join the Dark Brotherhood. I'm the Archmage of Winterhold. Archmage. Um, I'm the uh, Harbinger of the Champions at White Run. I got married to a character. So it was super. Sounds about right. It's super, super fun. And like That's the, only 20 the bottom something of your list of things that you are is Dragonborn. Yeah, <laughs> much, I even yeah, became a Skyrim. werewolf. I even became a werewolf. <laughs> that's that's Skyrim. Before anything else, you do you or before being a dragonborn, you're everything. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it, it's just Sneaking so much news. fun though. I oh yeah, can't I wait to just <laughs> I can't wait to just oh, yeah. explore more of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna I, I'm gonna DLC uh, uh, so download Dragon the Soul. special edition Fuck now that I can run that, and I'm gonna play that. Uh, I'm gonna. Give Skyrim another go around on the yeah, special edition. Yeah, and I've started building a house in Skyrim, which I yep. thought where'd was you super build it cool. at? Um, I bought a I bought a plot of land in Falkreath. It's the, lakeside, uh, the lake side of the Lake View. Is Manor. it up north? Yeah, the Lake no. View. That's yeah. That's down south. I thought the Lake View Manor was up north. No, well, it's kind of like central. <laughs> so, it's it's near Helgen. It's near oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Falkreath. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that. Yeah, there's like one of two houses that Very you can build. Along. And I, I usually go for the <laughs> northern one. Oh, dear shit. That but yeah, mean, yeah, building a house in there is fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm already, <laughs> I've barely scratched the surface of Skyrim, but I've already planned out my next playthrough of Skyrim. <laughs> um, my next playthrough of Skyrim, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do Sword and Shield as an Argonian. Uh, yeah. This time I was doing a Magic Caster sneak, right? as a uh, Breton, <laughs> and it's just it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Shit, I, think it's in the <laughs> I greatly enjoy it. Um, my game of the year... Um, game of the year, it's not Breath of the Wild, definitely. Um, it's, pro- it's probably Cuphead. Honestly, yeah, I remember you saying Cuphead earlier. Yeah, I, I think it's Cuphead. Cuphead just did so many things correct for me, and I adore the soundtrack. Um, one thing that I actually found out about the soundtrack for Cuphead is that there are based skeletal... Com- all the songs are based skeletal compositions, and then all of the uh, really... like All of like, the solo instrument parts are all improvised. That's like awesome. in game, they're completely different, and they're all improvised <laughs> by soloists that just listen to the song and just like, "This will sound good," and they just sort of did they it. went along with it. Oh, that so is cool. they just went. Soloists are on like a whole other plane of existence. They will <laughs> they will listen theory. to a song and just like, "I know what she'll sound good with that," that's and like, then they just do it. It's like how jazz is. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's exactly. I love how, jazz, especially like genre. old timey uh, New Orleans jazz. Yeah, that's all improvised, and that's my favorite genre. It's it's so good. So um, I like P five. I just absolutely yeah, love it. it. Soloists are amazing. Um, the gameplay is great too. The cup date didn't destroy everything, cup thankfully. Date. Cup date. Yeah, they call it the cup date. Oh yeah. The charge shot's weaker, but honestly, if you're good at dodging, it doesn't matter. So. I'm fine with it. Oh, it takes like three I, I took, that, that was a slow burner. <laughs> I'm like, cup date. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so it's great. Mm-hmm. And um, Tai 2 has come out of oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Access. Get that. We're now in 1.0. And for the holiday season, they gave us some holiday shorts for Tai. So, yeah, yeah Tai 2 is doing skins. And the skins look awesome. And you don't have to pay extra for the skins that come built into the game. Like games should be. There you go. That's so how now, Get your heart out, EA. So now mm-hmm. the silver... Or Which the is funny since EA published that on yep. yeah. console. So now the silver, or rather platinum cogs, whatever. They yeah. now have a purpose. Yeah. You now spend you. those to buy the skins for the 4B and tie, and it's super fun. That's um, how a game should be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, go purchase tie 2, and tie 3 is coming soon next year. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, after that, they're going to focus on console ports. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, they've, Chrome has been tossing around the idea. 
I think console ports are going to happen, but that's going to happen after yeah, they're PC done. Type yeah. is done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once it's done, so they can just port that to the consoles. Yeah. yeah, so... Which is also how it should be. Yeah, yeah. so I'm super... I agree. I'm super pleased with the progress that they've made. Um, yeah. Too. Oh, yeah. Right, I got the first one. I think already. I've gone on long enough, so Dante, if All you right. will please wrap us up. All All right. So, uh, what I've played has been... <laughs> Since the last one, at least, for, yeah, Frozen Wilds DLC, hard as hell. Right. Like, oh my god! Mm-hmm. And I played the campaign on ultra hard again for the trophy. About to say this, this felt harder, low key. What the Frozen Wilds? Yeah, Frozen Wilds on hard felt harder than ultra hard for the base game. <laughs> you get fucked, bro. Because like, there's <laughs> they call them demonic machines and yeah, like, freaking bears. Ride them. I played Dark. Souls. Uh, imagine fighting a bear in general. <laughs> Now make it a machine. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking terrifying. It's that hard <laughs> to kill. It ain't shit. It ain't shit. No. Frost claws ain't shit. Frost Fire claws, claws are mm. fucking pieces of shit. Scorchers. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so <fucking> angry. <laughs> but no, yeah, bro, so man. I played that. <laughs> it's fun though. Um Cuphead. I love that. Um I then um surprisingly I bought an Xbox One S from one of my oh, friends. Right. You did. For a hundred bucks. An Xbox it was still One in, sleep. Yeah. That's what the S stands for. Sunset Overdrive. Did you, did you play Sunset Overdrive yet? Yep, I played Sunset Overdrive and beat it. Great oh, game. It? Very underrated. I'm fucking pissed at you, X-Fags, for not supporting this game. <laughs> because it's not first-person shooter. Like, damn, this was a good game. Felt fun to play. The story was so over the top, it was interesting. I wasn't, like, bored playing it. Momentum-based system. It's like Jet Set Radio Cross Ratchet and Clank. No, hmm. but with the art style of Borderlands. That sounds so hey, good. Man. That actually does sound pretty fun. That the game so is freaking good. fun. Like, and you just gets grinding. Like, you can pick up momentum. There's no sprint button. You want to go fast? Start grinding on something. Dash. Oh yeah. Start yeah. doing tricks, and then like if you just kill normally. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Not that kind of grind. If you kill stuff normally, it's just like, all right, I'm playing the game, but I mean, I'm just blowing shit up. and doing what I need to do. So, like... I think I'm having fun. When you're playing the game correctly, it's a blast. It looks awesome, too. Really um, interesting art style. Is that, so, your, is that your G-O-Y? Nope. It, well, I, I what guess is I, your G-O-T-Y? G-O-T-Y, sorry. Mine, I'll, I'll tell you at the end. So, um... <laughs> yeah, Sunset Overdrive, great. <laughs> then I bought Halo because um, I wanted to finally play these games. I know these Xbox dudes were hyping it up since I was like born. So yeah. I'm like, let me see what the what the hype is. I played Halo One so far and I beat it. Yeah, I can kind of see the hype now. Yeah, <laughs> the shooting it's, mechanics it's in that fun. game are very good. They still hold up all these years later. I was playing the anniversary version that they released on. How do you feel about not being able to aim? To be honest, it doesn't bother I, you. It, it does bother me. But certain Get guns, you can it. actually still zoom in. Yeah. Right. So okay. it's not like, you can't like aim down sights, but there well, is like a sight you, you know, can aim into. A lot of first person shooters uh, back in early PC gaming. You couldn't aim. You couldn't do uh, yeah, it. Yeah, it was, it was just. But know, that was a limitation of the hardware. Yeah. Yeah. Halo did it intentionally, and I, I don't like that. But to be fair, some of the guns, like some of the guns you can aim down sights. Like in Halo 2, which I'm playing now. The battle rifle, you can aim down sights. Oh, yeah, because that's a scope. You yeah, have to and then, like, to. um the SMG, you can zoom up closer a little bit. And now, like, I know, like, Halo 5, every gun has some kind of zoom feature. So I'm like, okay, finally brought it into the fucking 21st century. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Halo 1, great. Shooting mechanics are fantastic. Halo 2, so far, I'm enjoying it. The shooting's even better. It honestly kind of reminds me of how that jump from Uncharted 1 to 2 was. Like the uh, control, like the gameplay feels a yeah. lot better. Yeah, yeah. But like it still feels fluid. like the same game just expanded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like I, I'm enjoying the second one. I know I was doing. It's like Halo Three is gonna look like shit now, because with Halo One, it's the anniversary version that was on 360. With Halo Two, they remade that game for this collection. Like the cutscenes and all the cutscenes look like a movie now. Damn. Mm-hmm. It looks great. Halo Three is the exact same version as the OG. Oh boy. <laughs> Xbox 360 launch. So. That's not gonna look good. And Halo Four, I mean, that came out late 360, so that's gonna look good regardless. Yeah. So yeah, Halo Three is the odd one out in this collection. I haven't seen it yet in person, but I know well, it's not gonna look that judge. good. Yeah. You I can. saw it digital foundry, <laughs> sir. I don't care. I saw PlayStation Foundry. They buy it. You can't watch that. Yeah. PlayStation foundry. Digital hands. You need it. <laughs> I listened to a review, therefore I know everything about the subject matter. I mean, <laughs> gamers be <really>. like. <laughs> but yeah, so Halo's pretty Maxi cool. Gamers. I'm gonna. Finished off those. I'll probably finish the second one before the end of the year. Um, I I bought Loot Box Front 2. 
Also, <laughs> off of um, Battlefront, too. Off of CD oh, keys, so I didn't oh, get my money. Okay. I was going to so say, you bought Loot Box, like the monthly service where you get useless crate. tat in your mail. This yeah. podcast brought to you by Loot Crate. Loot Crate, excuse me. You get uh, trash for every a time. Day, for a few dollars. You get a body like pillow. You, you, you get a subscription box, you open it, and then it just, it's a note saying traps aren't gay. <laughs> Return. <laughs> it's like, true. Return. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I got Spread that. lies. Game, I mean, it's not bad, but yeah, like that. Luckily, Disney came in and spanked them into submission. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they could take <laughs> away right. the loot boxes. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Gameplay is pretty fun. The multiplayer is fun. The campaign I don't was think decent. I'm a mouse spanking someone. I do. A mouse <laughs> spanking Darth Vader. <laughs> 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 Never do that again. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Ew. Okay, now that just sounded like <laughs> a so pedophile or something. But yeah, so the game was that passable, bad? seven out of ten. Campaign I did enjoy, just very, eh, very short. Sure. I played it on hard, beat it in like seven hours. Sounds about right. So it's like, damn, that, that could have been way longer. Story does not do what you think it's gonna do. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. cool, this is a cool compromise. And like three missions in, you're like, oh, look at that, they copped that already. <laughs> God damn. So <laughs> that was the campaign, and now the multiplayer. They got that last Jedi content in there, so I'll hop back on it probably oh, really? this weekend. So um, can you play as Porgs? I hope to God not. Can you the kill porgs? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Can you eat porgs? <laughs> we see what Savanti's side is. <laughs> but yeah, play you that. Like the uh, Can you play as old Luke? I'll probably have that as a skin to be Can honest. Can you play as the, the um, astral projection Luke? <laughs> That'll be a skin too. It wasn't a spoiler until you said spoiler. Can I can I play? Shut up. <laughs> Good job, Jacob. Can I play I as that like the tit I, I, milk? I, uh, oh yeah, creature thing. God, tit milk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love his right. angry what face as he's getting that milk. <laughs> what okay. else have I played? Uh, What's your game of the year? My game of the year. Yeah. You guys keep asking. Let's just get right. I'm gonna give it the Cuphead because uh, Lame. when I look at. <sighs> So I look at all the games that came out. It can't be Junkyard Jive. No, it it should be Halo because that's a first person shooter game. And and since you're playing on Xbox, you shouldn't like Cuphead. Yeah. So. Come on, bro. (laughs) That actually made sense. And that's why I hate Xbox fans. You're getting getting tainted by the Xbox. So now you're. You're touching your taint. Bro, Xbox is the best box. And I am the best box. It is the best box. Yeah, ain't shit, ain't shit gets moved. Yeah, ain't, ain't shit. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I'm giving it the Cuphead because um, that game nailed like every aspect. It looked amazing. It played amazing. The difficulty was great. And I got my money's worth for sure. Only 20 bucks, and I spent probably like 20 hours on that game. Go, bro. My second runner-up would probably be her, probably Horizon. Ah, let me just see it. Yeah, see, the reason I couldn't give it to Horizon is because a lot of games that it was competing with did a better job. Yeah. Horizon was, like, great. And I'm like, at the beginning of the year, like, this is a damn good way to start the year. But then, like, these other games come out, like, like Cuphead, yeah. Persona. It's like, uh, Horizon, you still good, bitch. It's like near. It's like... Uh, near? I still need to play near. I, I need to play. I'll talk about That's not on sale for the Steam sale. I want to so try it. I have I'll no idea what yeah. type of game it is, but I've seen it everywhere. It's mine. Fuck you. <laughs> well, fuck you. You got to play it eight times yes. with a true ending. Well, that's Heard. what I'm hoping is it. I didn't you know, know it was Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> Well, technically, there's twenty fucking endings, but see, a lot of them are joke endings. All right, shout the hedgehog. Okay, that that just kind of like it opened my mind for a bit. I need, I need to get. I would, I'd be the type to get all of those endings. Some of them are like really dumb and like joke endings, though, because you know. I didn't know the guy who made it. It's like like, you know. There's this one. Anything else? Visual novel oh, called Doki, Co- Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, I God. won't spoil anything. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. It's my great. true game of the year. It has a lot. I've been of playing Neck Two on the PS4. Oh my Board God. Edition. <laughs> the best game Board on the edition. system, bro. This is why you buy a PS4 yeah, and a next gen console. If you don't play Neck, you know, you're not you a, true a gamer, gamer, bro. The neck you know, you I, I sense sarcasm. No, I'm dead nah, serious, sir. Ass. You're saying in your dumb. I mean, I'm dead serious, sir. I've never fucking played Neck. Act two is one of the so, most beautiful things in the history of mankind. It's never it's the game is perfect. He's a weird All of its like flaws are not existent. Right, get off your soapbox. So when are we gonna <laughs> euthanize this podcast? Yeah. I'm gonna when the when the um nuclear explosion doesn't go through the glass. 
I feel like we went over all the okay. Yeah, so that's the last thing I was. Uh, yeah, I don't give right. a shit about all right, what else. So now, say. so now, just a quick rundown of our thoughts on last year. It was good and great. It was <laughs> good. I, it. I fucking loved it. I, I don't understand I, the hate. I understand some issues with the movie. Yeah, but the I, fact that you hate it is. I, don't I know. was completely blindsided when I heard people hated it. Same. I I, yep. I was in the theater, jaw dropped the whole time. It was it was a great experience, and then I hear I'm seeing more I don't hate like for this it. movie. I'm seeing more hate for it than yeah. Like, than the I, that's like why I'm it. surprised. I'm like I I it ended. I'm like, dang, that was a pretty good like movie. Some people yeah, are saying it's like I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm some people are saying it like this place sucks. I'm looking at the Star Wars fan base. One half saying it's good, the other half saying bad, fighting each other. I'm just like, yes, let the hate flow through you. <laughs> Internet wars. Yeah, it's either, the last yeah. debate. Either you no, hate it or you debate. love it. And like, okay. I can understand some points of them. Like that whole like, I uh, just I don't see scene. how it yeah. how it like, warrants hate though. Yeah, because one people thing, expect one thing and they don't get it, so they so have to complain about bad. it. The yeah. thing I really hated was. Uh, Vice Admiral Gender Studies. You know who I'm referring to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was miscast and she was a bad character. Yeah. Like that was just gender. That's studies. the thing. Like there were parts of this movie Her I hair was did not like. Purple. Yeah. There yeah. were parts the I just is didn't like, and like I can see people like that. Like the casino part felt prequely to me. It was. I kind of could see that. Yeah. I, yeah. The the I'm casino bit could have been cut out entirely. I love the aesthetic of it, but it was it did go on for too long. It went on mm-hmm. for too long. It's like I get what yeah. they're doing here, but why is it a fucking casino? Like there's people almost dying right now. <laughs> and we're like, I actually out. yawned at that part. I'm like, oh shit, I'm yawning during a Star Wars movie. That's not good. But oh, but after that, BS like, ended. The entire the rest climax of it, was amazing. Yeah. Oh it, yeah it it had like a little dip in in yeah. like how it was going and then like the ending uh, after that was just like this huge peak <laughs> just kept going up I just, like, I, great. one thing I like about this one for freaking Force Awakens ended with me being impatient because of how it ended yeah so oh, yep. there's Luke is he gonna say anything nope yeah me this and Monty pretty much agree on this this one I'm like I'm not so much impatient or excited for the next one but I'm curious as to what the hell they're gonna do yeah because they didn't really leave a cliffhanger yeah or, one question I had is um, the internet is very, very divisive about this one particular scene. It was, I'm going to try and keep it as general as possible to avoid spoilers, but it's the one scene that confirmed something that everyone had a suspicion about um, that you think something, you think the character story ends at that spot but then the character does something that allows the character to continue on through the story i'm trying to keep it as general as possible but it's really difficult spoiler warning for like star wars the last jedi yeah okay yeah okay. at this point spoilers Wait, have you seen it i, I don't care so don't okay worry. you don't care okay. spoiler warning for the last jedi right now what oh, you, I know what you're talking what do you about. Think about Leia using the Force to survive. That I, what do you think? Okay, about? The internet I thought it's so divisive about. <laughs> okay, that. I thought it was bullshit, but I still liked it. You know, it. I kind of at first I was like, oh, I don't really. The pose know about was why this. I was like, this kind of bullshit. Yeah, the pose was the main problem. <laughs> I have it, no idea what you're talking it, about. All right, so he's spoilers. Like so so uh, they, the first order like attacked the ship. And like and Leia's the part, the, she's the, the, the yeah. So like the her and all the people on the bridge flew out into space. Yeah, they. So you're thinking, oh the shit, well they're all dead. Everyone then her eyes out. open, her hand moves up like this, and she forces herself back to the ship. Yeah, she uses so it's like an airlock. To pull her herself. So like, I, it's because I, she's related to. Luke. She does have the force. They confirmed that that's, in episode that's six. Why, that's why I'm, it's like I'm, it's the execution. I'm yeah. glad. Yeah. I'm glad that they finally. For, it, for yeah. once, we could see Leia using the Force. Yeah. I, I it's the execution that they went with. That's probably what's making people so divisive. Yeah. Because, like, she never, like, show this ever before. Right. Yeah. Well, they, they did, I, like, she knew when Han died. That was through the Force. Well, yeah, like, Force Well, even before that, too, even, in, yeah. in um, Episode 5, yeah. um, whenever yeah. Luke called out, yeah, um, she could hear him. Yeah, yeah. But we just never seen her actually like using like, it physically. Yeah, yeah. And especially to that extent. Yes. I feel like some Jedi's can't like or. Well, like, I've seen that before be, in a few. Um, like I know it, it can be done. I know that for a fact. But it's just like rebels. I just love the fact that this bitch will not go down. <laughs> like <laughs> even in the vacuum of space. She's nope. Like, nope. I'm important. 
I'm general, damn it. Honestly, um, one thing that really pissed me off about that scene uh, was not Leia surviving using the Force. I thought that was cool. It's, I thought it was cool that we finally got visual proof that Leia could use the Force. Mm-hmm. Um, what really pissed me off about the scene was that they killed off Admiral Akbar. Yeah. Yes, like that. a lot of people. A yes. beloved are character. They that. just off. Admiral gone. Admiral so Akbar. A good point. They said Admiral Akbar should have stayed on that ship and done done the warp at the end. That way, it would have been a more meaningful death. Yeah, yeah. But we had to have vice. Uh, we had to have vice Admiral gender, gender stuff. studies. <laughs> I love that. That's that's a good. Name. I mean, people but, really cynical. People are calling her. Um, Vice Admiral, um, or Vice Commander Gender Studies, and then, um, that one, uh, the, the Asian lady, they're calling her the diversity hire. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my She's gosh. the token. I'm just like, like oh, that's just, that's, I see where you're coming from, but at the same oh, time, yeah, there's a lot of hate so for Rose. There's a lot of hate for Rose. <laughs> and like, I why the her. fuck does it matter? I'm just I like, liked damn. Her. I got, yeah, I, I like that. That was a great character to me. She I, wasn't I annoying. Her. Like, yeah, I could exactly. She was annoying, I but the fuck out of Rose and Finn. I was Hell so yes. happy. That was, so funny. Saw. <laughs> that was funny. Like, she kisses him. You're like, yeah. No, she's that like, was me. <laughs> you're like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that was me, <laughs> Daniel. Yeah, that was me. I did that. Yes. No. No. <laughs> that, was, that was Frankie, too. Yeah. I'm just. I, <laughs> I'm really happy that they didn't make Finn and Rey a relationship. Yeah, yeah I, God, I didn't see honestly. that. I'm glad that they're I didn't just see friends. that happening. Yeah. Um, I, I, I low-key kind of want Rey to go to the dark side. I was... I actually kind of wanted Rey and I wanted uh, Rey, ben. Uh, Rey and Ben to become great I Jedi. Will, yeah. I will... Yeah. Yeah, true. That's what I wanted to happen in that scene. I Yeah, because like he would... I think Ben really wants to be. Because he's, he's just like, you know... Fuck it. Ben is so confused. He doesn't know what the fuck to do. And honestly, well, he, I can't he just blame him. he wants everything done with. He wants yeah. he he's he even said it. He's like just fuck the Jedi, fuck the Sith, fuck everyone. Just let, stop let it. Let the past <laughs> die, which I thought yeah. was really poignant. For it's just like uh, uh, the the dark side, the the enemy, quote unquote, is saying this. So I thought mm-hmm. that, that was really interesting. Let the yeah. past die. <laughs> kind of pissed off all the Star Wars fans. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, but I'm sick and fucking tired <laughs> of the Skywalkers. Yeah, I okay, am yeah, too. I'm I am too. fucking elated that Rey wasn't a Kenobi, wasn't a Skywalker, yeah. wasn't yes. anything important. I, I like the idea that she's literally nobody. Like, the like, because if we're just following, like, the Star Wars story, if we're just following this one family line, That's it makes boring. the galaxy That's seem the so it. small. That's yeah. the problem with it. Like, exactly. the fact that, like, I mean, Rey people are just, saying, like, oh, I wish the person were open. Anakin came the fuck out of nowhere. Yeah, and he became yeah, Darth Vader. Yeah. Luke lived on a fucking sand planet. <laughs> and yeah. I loved I loved how he died with the two moons. Get so attached to looking stuff at that's the two moons. Yeah. Like that yeah. that was a That was a very like like you saw Luke from the beginning staring out at the two suns like that. And that's how yeah. he passed the Yeah, I love I love that. There well, he is, died? There is yes. a quote oh, that yeah. George Lucas died as in like went to with the force. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, you know how like yeah. uh, Yoda went. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it did. I one did. thing <laughs> that I really like, and I'm going to quote George Lucas here, is um, to rhyme, not repeat. To yes, to rhyme, not repeat. And I love the bookends of that, where a major developmental point for Luke was staring at the two sons mm. mm-hmm. um, in A New Hope. And the bookend here is he's staring at the, the last two sons Jedi. in The Last Jedi. And that's when, well... The you know, Last Jedi is, yeah. is done for. Yeah, I know. I just, I love... The, that's the rhyme. I love it's the beautiful. bookend. Yeah. It's beautiful. I, also, low-key, uh, Rey took the books out of the tree and they're on the Millennium Falcon. She did? Oh, yeah. Low, low, key, low yeah. key, that's exactly what happens. Also, uh, did anyone enjoy or hate the fact that they used the Yoda um, puppet? Puppet. I, I really liked it. it. Uh, okay. I really okay, liked I'm it. Just, I'm just curious. I, I want to see that I Yoda, not the that CG. I came back. Because yes. oh, I like both forms of Yoda. I like I the CG too. The and CG I like the puppet. Was, was a good... But for... I, this yeah. feels more like the original. I'm glad they did the puppet. Mm-hmm. I just it was funny at first. It also, I was reflect, like, it also reflects his quirky batshit insane sort yeah. of yeah. thing that he was in the swamp. It was just funny at first. As soon as I saw him, I was like, 
<laughs> fucking <laughs> puppet on I screen. Know you. I know you. I was and laughing. Then, and then as soon as like he started talking, I was like, all right, that's Yoda. That's when everyone started <laughs> clapping as soon as they saw him. Um, they just saw his ear like, oh, shit. Like, ah. another, another thing I, I really, really liked about it, I talked with Jacob about it, is I like how they portrayed um, Kylo Ren in this. Adam yeah. Driver did yeah. such an amazing performance of him because um, he he brought that anger out like mm-hmm. if he in this in this movie specifically if he was pissed he was pissed unlike in, in, force, in awakens, the force awakens it was a comedy thing yeah it was a whole comedy thing like i'm mad he was like, one little bitch in the force awakens. in here yeah, he felt like an angry teenager and in the exactly the part that is. showed it the most was whenever he was uh facing down with luke mm-hmm. and oh and God. You could see the the red glow of the lightsaber in his eyes, and you could see the fucking rage, and that was great. That was a great uh, portrayal. Mm-hmm. I so yeah. yeah. I Last Jedi was great. Yeah. Once Anyone who got... says it's horrible is wrong. And I love when people are like, <laughs> all the complaints I see, most of them can be argued that the originals did the same thing. Like, I see people saying, Vesma looked cool. She got no screen time. Boba Fett had, like, maybe 30 seconds of screen exactly. time in each movie. In, uh, in every, literally every Star Wars movie, there's one little dip where they just, like, do something that's not important to the story. And then they can go right back yeah. to it. So, like, that... that I didn't like Phasma scene, to begin with. I didn't like, yeah. I'm like, the armor looks cool, but... And people are, like, disappointed. Like, were you disappointed in Boba Fett? Or do you still suck his dick when he was in this movie? Seriously. For, like, the whole trilogy. I never for, like, saw like, four Boba minutes, Fett maybe. Either. Yeah. And most of it, he was just standing standing still. Uh-huh. Yeah. He got action for, like, 30 seconds in, Re- in Return of the Jedi. And he died. <laughs> <laughs> now, Not in the last, expanded. But, one yeah. last thing I would like to talk about is I'm going to present my opinion on this, but... Um, Wrong. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, in the Force Awakens, who directed the Force Awakens again? J.J. Abrams. J. J. Abrams. Okay. J. J. He, Abrams. He had a hand in in J.J. J. Abrams too. inserted, like, created these new characters um, to kick off a story. He created Phasma. He created Snoke. Um, he created these characters, and then uh, the new director decided fuck it with Snoke and fuck it with Phasma and outright just killed them off without any explanation. I think Phasma might come back. How do you feel I about that? I feel the same way. Like, to be I, honest, the thing with Snoke, I wasn't mad, but I'm just like, who the fuck was this person? Honestly, yeah, with yeah. me, I'm just like, thank the fucking Lord because Snoke did absolutely nothing for me. Phasma did absolutely nothing for me. So I'm glad that they didn't get any explanation because honestly... Fuck those characters. They shouldn't have existed. I did not like yeah. them at all. So I, I'm glad J.J. Abrams' yeah. stuff got tossed out the window. I'm with Savanti on that. I, I The only thing I'm mad like, about is we fuck. don't know who Snoke was, well, though. Well, if you, if you think about it back to, like, uh, the, the original trilogy, the Emperor, you didn't know anything about him until the prequels. True. He just yeah, kind of popped up okay. out of nowhere. So you're <laughs> suggesting there's going to be prequels? I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with that, Jonathan, though, is I'm going to counter that. Yes. Uh, Palpatine had a presence with him. Like, when we, we didn't get anything about Palpatine at all until the, the, uh, the prequels. But we didn't have anything about Palpatine, but he had such a presence that when you saw him, it's just like, well, that's the that's the fucking emperor. Be terrified of him. But Snow, well, because they they in the original trilogy they played him up, you I know? know. But um, so we yeah, know not, we knew nothing about him. They played him up, but yeah, Snow, they didn't play him up, and they he's, just shat he's him just into the movie. Wrinkly raisin in a bathrobe, just like. Hey, y'all. I'm, just like, I'm evil. Fear me. I know he did nothing, but Palpatine had a presence. Snoke had no presence. So. And it's also because we knew that Palpatine controlled an army. He con- yeah. he controlled the Empire. Yeah, you can call Snoke the supreme leader, but what what's that to the viewer if they don't fear him, you know? Yeah, yeah I know. We, we knew the Pal- or who Palpatine was, and we, we, we had a fear of him. One Snoke thing, was just insert villain here. One thing that there are three elements that I think undermined Snoke in his entirety. Uh, one, it was his portrayal and the way he looks. Palpatine oh, yeah. was human. Uh, so he, he looked human. Of course, he was like a wrinkly old bastard. Uh, so he looked like a monster, but he was human. So 
you uh, so there was like that already established uh, element of he's human, he's one of us. With Snoke, he's an alien. We can't connect with him because he's an alien. So that's racist. We, we don't know. Easiest um, money any circus ever made. Also, too, it's uh, the way that um, the story played out with Palpatine. Um, they built him up. And he was always a bit, like a very dark presence in the trilogy. Snoke just sort of pops in, is just like you failed me this time, do this now. And, yeah. and they never really played him up as like an evil presence. They tried to, but they failed to play him up as an evil yeah. impending presence. And the third thing is the color scheme. Uh, when they finally reveal Palpatine, the room is dark. He's cloaked in black, and he's sitting in his throne very imposingly. And he, Palpatine had the presence, but with Snoke, when they finally, we finally like see him, <laughs> he's, cloaked, <laughs> he's cloaked in a golden bathrobe with a, bl- a brightly lit red room. There's no evil presence there. there there's no there's no imposition there. There's no threat to that. Well, I feel like if they actually wanted Snoke to be like an actual evil presence, they would have done that, but. Because he was just going to be taken out anyway. They were like, you don't need to worry. I don't think you don't really need that. to. I don't think. I, I, felt, like, I they, felt like they knew. I felt like they knew. I feel like they knew that. With episode Snoke seven and eight, be. they knew. Now, with epi- what they do with episode nine, that I have no fucking idea. Because they didn't kill Leia in this movie. They actually didn't so, know what they were going to do. I, J.J. With, J. Abrams had no plan for these characters past The Force Awakens. He had no plans for them. That's, that's what I mean. He's directing yeah. episode nine now. Oh, God, I, no. Yeah. Because the guy uh, was what, what I think happened. The director, it was going to be the director of um, Jurassic World to direct episode nine. But Carrie Fisher passed away. They didn't kill her at the end of this movie. So yeah. now they have to account for that. Well, what and I, I, he's like, I can't work with this anymore. So he stepped down. So J.J. Abrams is going to replace him as director for the ninth film. What a bitch. Because so what, like, what, mm. what I think they're just going to do is she she's going to, she's not, she's going to be dead as Leia in in the next movie and they'll just say like you know this happened to her or yeah. something I, I don't maybe know maybe have like, well, like, it's like, it's like scene, when you look at all the yeah, but actually like, like when you look at this trilogy it was like saying goodbye to those characters because episode you know 7 was Han's movie this yeah. was Luke's movie 9 was going to be Leia's movie you know yeah. what but, I know exactly what they're going to do uh, Leia pulled herself to the ship back to the ship with the force but she has never outright used the force before it's gonna kill her. That's gonna that's gonna be the thing to kill her. She like was out of the account for like thirty minutes, but now she's back and she seems fine, but she's not fine. It's that the use of using the force that powerfully without experience like that is gonna kill her. Well the thing is though, they said they're not gonna use her body likeness or anything in the movie. Yeah. Exactly. They're gonna kill so, her off screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Explicitly well, using the force like that is going to kill her off screen. I because th- I don't know. We've never seen the force actually kill somebody like by just using it before. So I don't know if that's going to be like yeah, the but it could be. It. it could have been too much for her to handle. The force is a powerful thing. Mm-hmm. It's a powerful magic. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if I. Mm-hmm. Agree with that. Perfectly. Very curious I, as to what they do with episode uh, yeah, nine. Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm very curious. Yeah, they, what they going to do. They didn't really, as I said, they didn't leave off on a cliffhanger. They they just this felt like the end of the trilogy. It it, it did. Like, like, I feel they like they're gonna ruin it. it. Like how like how like people love Empire. They say that's the best one. Return of the Jedi wasn't the. It was like a letdown in terms of a sequel. It, it delivered, but it wasn't as good. They're gonna do that with fucking Episode mm. Nine, and people already don't like this trilogy that much. So. This may be a forgotten trilogy, which sucks to say because I, I like Force Awakens enough, and I really like this one. It did its thing. But for episode me. nine, I'm just like. I just feel like it's gonna be. They're gonna hate it now. It's not that I don't and like JJ Abrams. Afterwards, they're gonna go like, actually, they were really good. Movies. Yeah. It's not, it's not that I don't like JJ Abrams. It's just he copied episode four. Yeah. Yeah. What's his did. original quality gonna do for episode nine? Since this one took a lot from episode six. And well, I, I'm kind of think on his feet though, because now that his precious Snoke and Phasma are gone, he's gonna have to work with something else. I'm kind of glad that they they kept the same writer, luckily, but that yeah. they also established Maz Kanata as just another character, not the new Yoda. Yeah. Thank God, honestly, because that that's what Abrams did. Maz Kanata was the new Yoda. There's 
there are some points that when you try and run too much, it just becomes repeat. Yeah, so, pretty yeah. much. And I understand, like I understand George why they George copied the key. <laughs> I understand why they copied <laughs> though, and this is why I still like Force Awakens. They had to go in and gain Disney's trust, their career on the line. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got to make a new Star Wars movie. How can we ensure this is good? Let's copy the one that started it all. That was the worldwide phenomenon and just make it a little different. Yeah, they, they I understand the, that. Like, if it ain't broke, like, why fix it? Yeah, I understand that. The movie suffered for it, but I understand why they did that completely. Yeah. Like, if I was, if, if there's someone told me, okay, go and make a new Lord of the Rings, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm copying a freaking yeah, yeah, like, Fellowship of the Ring or something. I feel like it'd be better to copy than to like make a brand new thing and, and fuck, fuck it up. that up. Yeah, and fuck yeah. Like I'd rather have someone I see that. do that it's again. A very, I see that. It's a very, stre- uh, it's a very stressful tightrope to walk. Yeah. We'll so I understand yeah. what they did. I don't blame him at all. But I yeah. understand completely. Hmm. Overall, uh, I think we're but all Ryan Johnson that, that uh, Last Jedi movie. was a great movie. Yeah, so I thought the uh, alien design was a little lazy. Like the crystal fox was very lazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, well, just, they, they just, they just the sort of pasted some thing. glue thing. Oh, uh, glaceon, glaceon. Yeah, that's like what. Yeah, that's what they are. They just sort of like threw glitter and crystals out of fox, and boom, there you go. I mean, like the some of them, I like some of them were really interesting and cool, and some of them were lazy yeah, as you said. Then there were those the ones that were weird, those freaking fish things on the oh, island. Oh yeah, the like, fish nun things. The yeah, I was gonna say the, was cool. the, the poor... I've read that uh, Mark Hamill actually didn't like his portrayal in this movie. He oh, doesn't. Mark Hamill really? hates The Last Jedi. He hates, he hates The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi because of how uh, Luke is portrayed. He said like in an interview, he was talking him and Ryan Johnson like talked and argued a lot because he said like, I completely disagree with everything you're doing to this character. And I can see yeah. exactly can what he was talking exactly. about. Yeah. Because they made Luke not a bad guy in this movie, but, but they gave a, him a few skeletons in the closet that don't really match his character, oh. per se. Yeah, they made him a grumpy old bastard for no reason. Yeah, not even that. Just, like, the whole point of, like, spoilers again, but, like, like they they bring up how Kylo Ren went fully to the dark side. Mm. He, like, um, Luke sensed darkness in him from the beginning since they started training. And so Luke visited him one night just looking at his mind and he saw darkness and power and so like, like in the moment, end of the galaxy he, in that moment he pulled he, out his lightsaber and turned it on thinking I should strike him down now yeah. then he came to his senses as soon as he did it but it was too late Ben saw him with the lightsaber in his and hand he, and that's what kind of snapped him that's what that's what it's like it, yeah. yeah that was not the giant thing to do in that situation oh yeah and Kylo wasn't clean either because Kylo went to kill everyone else on yeah. the island yeah yeah, just out of just because he was mad, so like they're both guilty, but yeah, well, Luke, he, wait, that was not what? a giant thing Honestly, to do. Oh yeah, Kylo from that portrayal, on, Luke may be more of a gray now. Kylo went on to kill his classmates. Yeah, that's the thing. It's the like they that's they. I oh, can he see went that. back. They after ruined that. Luke Skywalker's like that's purity. Yeah, he's not pure. It's like from that. Damn, that's a bold thing to do. <laughs> that's one thing that the movie fucked up on with Kylo Ren is that they told us they didn't show us. Because Daniel just, I just, Daniel just found out that Kylo went to kill his classmates. Yeah, they was, said that. Was they this, said that in the in Force Awakens too. Yeah, well, no, they didn't say in Force Awakens. That was they, wait, they, that they, was after after he he left. Yeah. Uh, whenever yeah. Luke tried to kill after, him, right after, after he uh, collapsed the building. Uh, yeah. Thought, he thought he killed Luke. He went to burn down the yeah. the Jedi College, as okay. it were. Okay. And he killed. Oh, he I remember now. Yeah. All of his classmates. Yeah. But we we only saw the burning building. We didn't see like Kylo striking anyone down. So they told us they didn't show us. Yeah. They they said it in Force Awakens though, because that's how like Knights of Ren was, the ones that um went over to his side. He kept them alive. That's how Knights of Ren started. Honestly, I'm going. I'm going to go to the prequels for this. Oh no! Uh, we believed, like we believed Anakin to be full of hate because we saw him with that infamous scene of like uh, him approaching the younglings and then pulling out the lightsaber in mm-hmm. front of the younglings to kill them. Like it seems kind of silly, but that was actually a really powerful scene of showing us um, the, the kind of without us. showing us. They, and then they, they even still no, showed like, us the holographic They projection. showed us, but they they didn't tell us. They showed us, which is what you should do. But with this, they told us, but didn't show us with Kylo. And uh, it bothers me. Yeah. That's the one rule you don't break is you always show, you never tell. Because well, it's unbelievable. Like you have father, like to son. Believe. Oh, you didn't shit. see it. <laughs> God damn. So like father, like son. God damn. 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, he didn't kill him though. He almost he, he was well, borderline. He it's, yeah. He's great. One, that's that's yeah. what I think now. He's yeah. great now. One that's, thing that uh, Mark Hamill brought about the Force Awakens mm. is that he felt like he felt like the the way that the movie should have gone was that uh, Leia was like would find Luke because they're connected, and like okay. Luke would sense the urgency that like she needs him, and then as soon as like Han dies. Like instead of uh, instead of Finn and Ray on the top of that balcony thing, it should have been Luke and Leia, because that would have been that a much been a more, more powerful. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's like Finn and Ray literally just met Han. Yeah, and then like these are these have been his friends for several years. Okay, so I that if, that makes sense. Yeah, like he would have come to the rescue because that's how Luke is. Like he has to. He, he, it's like the freaking he fucking, should have ended. Yeah, yeah. Like he stopped. Where he's uh, like, he's right there. It looks like surprise. And stab some what up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're done. All Ending. Right. Okay. Exactly. Right here. All right, we have gone on for exactly two hours. Wow. Okay. That felt longer. Yeah. All right. So Round I hope you enjoyed our full analysis of the Last Jedi. We. Do honestly recommend seeing it. Yeah. Yes. Despite the negative things. Think that for yourself. Don't yeah, listen to the. Right. It's like that scene at the end summed up um the internet reactions where he sees him walking on the red. Salt. Yeah, yeah, salt. Yeah, yeah. yeah, salt. Yeah. Yeah. See it for yourself. Prove your uh draw your own conclusions. Um and tell us in the comment section if you liked it or not. And tell us what you think of the new format for Tech Peasants Podcast. Are we still idiots? We're probably still idiots. Oh yeah, definitely. Are we, we need to this more. Are we actually funny? Well, are we no, actually really. tech peasants now instead of video game dickheads? <laughs> yeah. Uh that's that's, that gonna, be the, that's gonna be the new segment for video game talk. Video game dickheads. Alright, video- so outros everyone. Uh I'm Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a, a SoundCloud at JRider200. Don't no follow that a, shit. With a playlist of all my songs. Don't yes, no, no follow that <laughs> with shit. With a bunch of it. meme mashups. Don't you follow that shit. Fucking please look it up. I, <laughs> Stay away from to me. If you, follow me. If you, if, you're, if you have a bad day, just just subscribe to him. <laughs> if you want to yeah. kill yourself, go ahead and listen. It'll, yeah, it'll convince your decision I didn't, more. Hey, I didn't say it would make it make you feel better. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying that it, it make you want to kill yourself, Hopefully. go listen to it. It'll help you um, ensure your decision. <laughs> <laughs> it'll submit the idea. Most of them on Steam and like Minecraft or whatever. And take out his wheels up bullshit. Take my wheels up. <laughs> your wheels ain't up. I forgot to bring wheels. my hat. Wheels are down. All right. Um, Cooper Clan 13, Twitter. Fucking Steam, I fucking PlayStation. I ain't shit. That. I right, don't then. feel like playing with any of you people, so Suck once again, uh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like playing with anyone's mom. I don't fuck with y'all like that. You know, I feel like uh, if we ever get famous enough, um, like people will, will like, the internet will find out who I am. <laughs> <laughs> they will quote, like they'll find like the, the like your voice. And then, like, there'll be, like, a recording at yeah, you, like, at a Walmart. They'll hear a plane outside. <laughs> yeah. They're like, <gasps> oh, should we mention the um, tomfoolery that happened when we saw it in IMAX? No, no, we're, we're good. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 nope. no, no, no. Don't put that out on the internet. All right. We're not going to do it. All right, it. go. All right, now for the longest outro of mine. Uh, you can find me at Retro Tech Toms on Twitter. You can also find me on Instagram, Retro Tech Toms. And you can view my photography and other multimedia oh, works on... Uh, Okay, what? <laughs> I didn't do shit. <laughs> you are always quiet for everyone else for the second I, I stop talking. I anything, Jacob. Don't you uh, dare sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare do this to me. I didn't do shit. I was messing around. Continue. Every time I start talking, you always have to talk like an idiot into the microphone <laughs> when you are quiet for everyone else. <laughs> Continue, Jacob. Okay, we ended out without going left. <laughs> you can feel my photography you and other multimedia works at www.jacobrusso.com. That is right. I built my own website. www.jacobrusso.com. Thank you so much. Um, you can also view my other work at on uh, Retro Tech Coms on it's YouTube. And you can also, of course, subscribe to Tech Peasants Podcast. It's, it's a great been. podcast. <laughs> you guys, Both of you. you guys didn't see it, but Jacob pointed at Jonathan, and and in that split second, 
Jacob shot a lightning bolt oh, out Jesus. of his finger. <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now for the ringleader of this madness. Alright, for the follow me on everything. Vaughn Red One, <laughs> Ni- the Knights of Vaughn, oh, Tech Peasants Podcast. Oh. Unite. The Knights of Vaughn, the Vaughn Guardians. Goodbye. Vaughn Guard, all of that. Bump Just follow us all. Bump, you bought us part of the Vaughn Guard, so I guess that's suicide. Oh, uh, yeah. So like, I guess I'll die. Um, <laughs> have, have a wonderful day, See night, you guys next evening. Time. Don't yeah. watch this shit. Fuck you, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you.